Oh, wait a minute. I think we're live. Or, no, wait. There was a very brief stream for a moment, and then it disappeared. All I right, think. we did it. We did the 200th yeah. episode. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. There we go. There we're we go. Now, live. Hello, everyone. Oh, Hi. Hi. Welcome to episode 200 of the Procrastinators Podcast. Oh, yeah. We're here. Oh, let me turn that down. Uh, we did it. It's Radcon 4 Paradise. Uh, we have a house that we're in right now. And we're all friends, and here we are, yeah. just experiencing that in real time. Who are we? Uh, we're the Procrastinators Podcast. No, individually, each, yes. we are Ben Saint. Yeah, this mic position sucks. Sure, scoot it. a little closer. It's very like you and Jess, basically. Well, much uh, Jesse, endless Jess. Uh huh. Yeah, right here. Munchy J. Trump. Woo! Best guy I ever meet. Give and take. Hello. Did you, bro? I used my special move. Get high. Tom Oliver. I love video games. Yeah. And uh, we're here just to talk about whatever we feel like at today's PCP episode that we're all part of. Now, as a part of why mm. we're here at this house, we had a Kickstarter. Link in the description so you can just look at the Kickstarter, which <laughs> yeah. we have already funded. Yeah, right. And as a part of that, <laughs> there was a reward tier where you could suggest things and talk to us mm -hmm. and tell us what to do at Redcon. Be quieter? Is that what No, he's mean? saying to move the mic on because it's completely Literally in your face. Oh. <laughs> Which, so not, move it just down. I can't. Down. Just move I can't. Down okay, like down. If, if you, what? Yeah. You will be audible. It's picking it's up everything. It's fine. You okay, will, okay. It will aim it yeah. upwards at the very least. So, uh, uh, Nate, uh, uh, Nate, Nate, Nate. It's barely going to pick me up. No more microphones. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no more talking. Why don't you go on? So, so, as a part of the PTA being a thing that... My can suggest God. things to us. We asked them questions for this. One of the questions that they asked us was, "Did you, bro? You said that. Do you know their name?" <laughs> no. Here, I... I'll I'll get their name real quick. Okay. But they were lovely, and they asked us, uh, uh "What? What have we done?" How for do you, How do you feel about the rad content that you've made so far? Do you want to go over what we've made so far? Oh my god. Well, we, we got in and we started making like vlogs and dumb shit posts right away, which mm -hmm. are all great. Yep. Um, that's pretty much what I come to Radcon to do. Hmm. Everybody else is always like, oh, I've got a plan. And I'm like, I have no plan. I have cameras and I have you people. And I'm going to make you entertaining and uh, put it on the internet. So yeah. It's paradoxical that the big things are kind of the least important long term. The least memorable. It, it, to a degree. They, the streets you know, are always the best. The, like, the, like a really good stream where all of us are shouting and, and having fun mm, is, is mm. the best. Time. I mean, I think that uh, all the big videos are great too, but like they basically exist to give like form to the Kickstarter. Yeah, yeah. Whereas like the real purpose of Radcon inherently is to get all of us, you know, creative people in one place and make shit. And so it's like. On the one hand, we, we always try to make it so, like, there's certain things that we guarantee because, you know, so that we can have, like, a justification for the Kickstarter goals. Yeah. But we try to leave as much time as possible unaccounted for just so it's, like, you know, the magic can happen. You gotta have mm. that serendipitous content. Yeah. Right. What was and that first one we did uh, about something? Okay, sorry. Patches from Dark Souls. Patches from Dark Souls. Sucking my dick, sucking my cock. Yeah, and others. Touching my dick. Touching my balls. <laughs> touching uh, my touching dick. dick, touching my balls. That's what it was. Yeah. Sorry, pooping on a cock. Up. Well, that too. yeah, pooping on a cock. These are just the things that I say in my everyday life, so <laughs> they're all jumbling in my head. Okay, okay. besides all the bullshit that, like, sucks, uh -huh. we have made, like, a billion and a half lectures. We have. This well, will yeah. be, like, we're I, three like, so far. I, 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 and we're four. not done. We're doing Four? two more today. Oh, right. Well, if you count the Brad Garling yeah. House lecture. Brad stopped by and he did one real quick. The Brad Garling House Wait. lecture was a really slide, fucking yeah. good and I cannot Is wait it? for that. Huh? Do we want to reveal all the ones that we no, have done? I'm trying doing? to figure out how many we've done. I think it's five. One, five. two, one, three, four. two, three... It's oh, four, right? three, three, three plus Fine. Brad Garling. House. There you go. Yeah, that's what we've got. We have two and we've got two more on deck and There's possibly more, more as well. Uh, like wait, no, no, it, 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 was, it was I stayed up all one, night two, writing my fucking four, notes, five, yeah. and now okay. I'm depressed and I hate you. Well, yeah. but the <laughs> point is that this is going to have like an exponential growth of lectures from last night. Come. Like double. 1.5 like or 2.5 times? Something like that, sure. Last time we had three, right? 
Uh, I did one. We did three, didn't we? You did one. I did one. I did Final one. Fantasy. I did one. He so did four. Four. So yeah. No, you and you did one. Yeah, oh, yes, I did. So we did, we did five. five okay, so we're oh, going to no, have like Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll still, we're still going to have more than we last time. We will at least tie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 it's like, it's like picking up Munchie like twice as loud as everyone well, then else. Well, just yeah, the loudest man in the world. Well, I, I mean, did that and everyone yelled at no, me. No, the least problem that's how it was felt that it me. was blocking <laughs> Munchie's face if we were trying to move the arm out of his face. That's all that matters. Shenanigans, everybody. It's Radcon. I love uh, it. Well, let's talk about, I mean, a little bit at least. We already did the big stuff, the big ticket items as well. The yes. OVA and the music video. Mm, yes. Songs coming at you Those soon, folks. Those are intense. Folks. Those are fucking Those intense yeah. recording days. Yes. We, yes, they were. Yeah. Those the were reason, two days of nonstop recording. Like, mm-hmm. consider right. that, like, when we do RadCon, we usually expect there to be, like, constant live streams. Just like, oh, well, somebody will have a chance to live stream while we're doing something. This was not the case for those two days. It was Correct. just like... Ball busting. We broke our bodies. Uh, we were bedridden. Some of us. You keep saying that just because you're old as fuck. You like jumped. Tom, Tom was jumped bedridden. Like ben times. was bedridden. We all had to nap, man. We don't have the energy of a young I was just tired. Because I, I, I sur- sur- can't surgery problem. Sleep. Everybody else. Yeah, you've been having like sleep you're on your own. issues. Yeah, you've been having a lot of issues, Ben. Yeah, I'm just fat. Cool. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Ben's just stressing out about fucking delegates for Bernie. He yeah. Can't sleep. I also am convinced I'm going to die. Why? Oh, because of the plane. The plane right home. The plane and the coronavirus. Well, oh. th- is that not... Wait, are you afraid of the plane crashing? Or yes. Are you af- okay. So it's they're, they're separate. Yeah. Crashing yeah. into the coronavirus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. You, you, you will live the coronavirus, yeah. though. You, first of all, you won't even get it. First of all, when you do get it eventually, then you will live. That's true. No, there's only like it's, a there's only like a point two per, there's a point two percent chance that I die. That's like one in five hundred. I suppose that's pretty good odds for the check, coronavirus. Check the but the, those, those, it's you don't like want to risk that. What if I gave you a gun and I said, "Hey, this well, spin this revolver. There's five hundred holes in it, but that's not and only one works, has a bullet. Though, Pull the there trigger." Are, not everyone has a random chance. It's your if you're old and infirm, you have a much worse chance of dying from it. No, so. no, that's including age. I'm already you more so. sick of hearing about this stupid virus than I am about. About yeah. hearing about Greta Thunberg and Billie Eilish combined. Mm, mm. Well, um, what if you combined Greta Thunberg and Billie Eilish and gave that them the coronavirus? Thank God. That would be so well, then sick. they combined would be so young that they'd be impossible <laughs> to kill. The nation would be mourning and I would be celebrating. <laughs> Uh, anything of note that's happened that we should let people know while we've been here? Apparently, th- this stream going up has once again Why? killed oh, our fuck, previous stream. Well, what can you do? What yeah. in the fucking shit? The that was the best stream of all time. That was the most based stream in history. It was the most based stream. <laughs> Wait, is it over? What? No. No. No, no it's fine. The stream we Not did this all stream, last man. night, oh, that one is now gone Every time too. we do a stream, the previous one gets fucking So that means fucking if we stream again, destroyed. we will kill PCP episode 200. Wait, well, wait, 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 wait. Potentially, but unless we download we'll it. We'll just download wait, it What first. are you talking about? What do you, did the last one get deleted? Yes. yes. Why? Somebody How? Somebody said in the chat that when this stream went live, the last what stream the disappeared, just like what happened to us last night. Well, there's nothing we can do about that right now. Let's right see now. if we can solve this we problem. We work later. on YouTube. It if anybody still fake. has it open, download it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck! I it. forget the name of the guy. One guy. He managed to save the last one. He yeah. saved everything we did in one guy. So I really <laughs> hope we can save that one too. What the? F- mm, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Why is YouTube the worst? They've served their purpose in acquiring super chats. Let them be lost in the sea of time. Wow! I hate you. Mm-hmm. Nah, you, don't understand. You, you don't understand. You don't understand the that. clutch Yoshi's bad. Island moments that you missed last night. I'm yeah. sure they were really. Hey, we're great. This, this is <laughs> unspeakably retarded, and we have to stop now. Sure. Yes. One thing, since it's big numbers episode, you know zero zero. Mm-hmm. I think it'd be cool to be a little bit reflective. And Mr. Coolman or my Coolman, mm. however you prefer to be pronounced, I think it's Iranian. Uh, asked, what has changed since the last RadCon? And I want to add on to that, where do you guys think you will be at in your develop psychologically by next RadCon? Where do you think you'll be? Where's the momentum of the it group going? Depends on where, how long we think it'll be before the next RadCon. Now, that was also half. another question someone also asked, how long do you think the gap will be? I mean, it's too, Probably too numerous to know. One year or less than, I yeah. think, for, for the next RadCon. Because this, we definitely Maybe. waited too long to do this one. We shouldn't wait two years. No. We should wait, like, I was thinking, like, a year to a year and a half. 
Like, I mean, the, the funny thing depends about Depends what time it, of the year we want to do like, it. When, yeah. when we first started doing these, the idea was that, like, we... Because we had gone to BronyCon yearly on our own dime, <clears throat> we figured we had, between us, the money to each travel, like, once a year to meet up. Yeah. And so the idea was, like, we'll go... We'll just go to my house. But then we were like, we could do this more than once a year, so let's do a Kickstarter, and then we can do it every six months, because we'll pay for it once, and we'll kickstart it the other time. Mm-hmm. Then we all realized that, like, oh, we should only do this if we're going to kickstart it, because why would we spend all that money on flights when we could potentially fund it this way, but that also means doing it more rarely as it means organizing a Kickstarter every single time. Yep. So yep. it kind of went from like being like, we'll use the Kickstarters to do it more often to just we'll use the Kickstarters to do it at all, and now mm. it's a question of how often do we want to do a Kickstarter and have to gather up for 10 whole days. Well, see, the thing is is that there are like smaller meetups sometimes yeah. dispersed throughout the year, so right. mm-hmm. I remember specifically there was a big meeting meetup. Uh, yes. I forget when. Red October. Con 3.33. Yes, Red Con 3.33. No, that was not October. Not right that was January. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, last year. Well, uh, the, uh, I mean, we are getting to the point where we are starting to like be next to one another kind of normally. Me and Ben see each other like every fucking day. It's a nightmare. Tom <laughs> lives nearby even though we Damn. never see him because he was crippled. And then he won't come to furry conventions even though we ask him to come to furry convention. And he won't even respond to us in time to come to the furry convention. <laughs> What's fucking wrong, Tom? What's up, dude? Let's talk about this later. <laughs> Fuck you. I'll kill you on stream right now. <laughs> Please um, do. Uh, Nate and Digi are gonna like gay marry or something. I heard that on the grapevine. Uh, it could happen. The, yeah, that's the current plan to to move to this very area. That's been your plan for like four years. Okay, well here's the thing well, about me, as here. opposed to everyone else. I have plans, and then eventually you know who else they had all had plans. Happen. Elizabeth Warren, and look what happened to her. Yeah, she failed. I succeed because I'm a man, and a woman cannot make it in the presidency. This is what I learned. That's what Bernie said. I voted was, for Jill Stein. Hashtag Bernie was I'll right. I'll vote for Elizabeth Warren because I believe in the dream, but I know it can't happen. That's that's my vote. Right, right. Fair. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about where we're going to be by next Redcon. Uh, very and, likely, I will live in this area. Too. And what has changed since last Redcon? I quit my job. That's one big thing. That's that a big with me. thing. I quit my job to become a YouTube's man. And it worked still out for you. going like this. Yeah. But I've got aspirations to make it go like this. To at least reverse the damage. I, if I could at least be neutral, that would be one thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, the whole point of me just stopping to do uh, Weagua. I was just like, well, this doesn't seem to be working the way I hoped it would. Time to try something else. So mm-hmm. I'm just going to do that as long as I can. And then, you know, either it'll get better or not. I will, if I have to, I will, as I always say, I'll get a fucking real job and just do YouTube on the side the way I did for a very long time. And I don't even think it'll be that much worse. So frankly, I'm just very confident things will go just fine for me in life. Do you foresee that Maybe having to happen? Huh? Do you foresee that having to happen? Like, do you think that you'll... I don't know. Uh, I mean, it does seems like a not a ton of people actually succeed at making YouTube their mm. career long term. Really? So I'm just open to that possibility. I mean, I don't honestly really care either way. Mm. I have a preference, but I'll just do whatever I gotta do. And I'm mm. going to keep making YouTube videos no matter what. So to the audience, it should make basically no difference, mm. other than perhaps the speed at which they come out. So I, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna be here doing my shit. Try to make things better, uh, and hopefully making money enough to do it. If not, I'll do other shit. That's it. That's it. Low stakes here. So, low stakes. So, oh god, how many years ago was Redcon 3? Two, two years. Just, under, oh. just under two years. Yeah. Jesus. Okay, so you quit your job. Yep. There was also me and Math of a 2. Mm-hmm. And resounding failure. Resounding failure. Would you say that? Would you <laughs> Well, I'm exaggerating. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but uh, kind of, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You used to be some time. That, that was the one goal. I mean, I, I've talked about this shit a million times. People know. I just summarized it right there. That's okay. that's, that's everything right. going on in my life. Nothing else of interest. Hippa, what's been going on? Um, you, like, died, I think. Were you already dead by the time the Recon 3 happened? Were you already not doing epic, cool video game reviews? And oh. breaking in Mad Dosh? Mm. No, I think, I think I was still... Yeah, that was 2018, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Early 2018. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, by the October 2018, I decided no more hypocrite. So the things I recorded at Radcon 3, uh, GRPJ, GRPJ, Kingdom Hearts 2, GRPJ, when? Kingdom Hearts 2 is not out, uh, and it will never be out, <laughs> uh, unless I find the time and the inclination to just do it for no reason. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, like I've I've switched gears from 
being a YouTube gamer review person because I realized I don't really like ultimately it's it's more of like a passing interest I realized mm -hmm. just the fact that it is a career that people can have made me think that I should pursue it as such but I didn't really feel that I was that into it so I stopped I went back to what I really liked which was at the time I was in the process of finishing Bell Jape. So I went hard on that. For, I, actually, I can't remember when I started Bell Jape. I think it was, may have been around the same remember. time, or it, it's either, it could have been like happening throughout the whole year. But it was not a serious thing when it first started. Well, I, no, in the sense no. that it was not your full... No, no, it was just sort of like, wouldn't it be fucking cool if I made uh, th something? And then everyone responded, no, and you kept at it. And you <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just throwing balls around. No ball games. Mm -hmm. So then... Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I, I, I did Bail Jeep. I think April the following year, 2019, mm -hmm. I finished it, April, May, whatever. I tried to do a Kickstarter and that failed for making a plushie of it. But I was very much into doing this as a thing. Mm -hmm. And so I think for the rest of 2019, I didn't do, really do much, but I was planning and, uh, and crafting certain stories and stuff and doing like like hundreds upon hundreds of Google Docs with like world building shit mm -hmm. that it will eventually see the light of day in certain like comic forms or whatever. Um, on the side of that I have been like continuing with my my writing job, freelance stuff mm -hmm. that I'm doing. Which right, right. Um, uh, takes a long time to get anything mm -hmm. made. Uh, I don't wanna, I, I keep saying like, oh we're, re we're just about to make it real, but then it's sort of like, oh, there's a setback, we have to do something mm -hmm. else, we have to change the script or like get a different screenwriter. But there's significant progress coming there, Significant right? progress, yeah. but I don't want to jinx it again, so I'm just going to not say what mm -hmm. stage it's at at the moment. I mean, the idea of like, that even being your job is like in a weird, nega alternate dimension where it kind of like is brought up, where it's like, yeah, I had this job, we're like doing a thing, uh, bye, and then it's like elaborate it's on. Once, I, once the first thing that I have my name on as a writer of is a real thing, then I can say, I'm a writer, this is what I've made. Mm -hmm. Until yeah. then, it's like, I'm dabbling in it, and, mm -hmm. uh, dabbling in it, and, um, you know, like it could fall through. It would kind of be difficult at this mm -hmm. point, but... That's that's sort of the two things that are going on is like freelance writing work and then my own personal comic hobby. Uh, and the beginning of 2020, mm -hmm. I started the Lord of Ghosts comic, which initially mm -hmm. started out as like a very small idea fan thing for Endless War, your mm -hmm. and Ben's thing. We will talk about that when yeah, it comes to it. Uh -huh. um, but uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just doing stuff. Then Radcon Three is like hell yeah, mm -hmm. I want. To see my friends and be mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. Four. Cringe. Four. Yes. yes. Big cringe, oh, bro. It, it, I is can't it, count. I don't know if this is the case, but you have gone from like completely different medium to of like artistic expression, basically. Like you went from like a video uh, man to a yeah, comic person. I, mean, I was always like an art boy at school. Sure. Um, videos, like, I got into making videos through My Little Pony <sighs> stuff because uh, I, I made a video on a whim, and I, I got great feedback. I always thought of you as an art guy because you drew your own stuff in the videos. Like, you drew give and take, so yeah. like, from, from my perspective, anybody who can draw at all is automatically like an artist in my mind. Like, I just compartmentalize oh, yeah. you. I mean, I don't think of video as non-artistic. <clears throat> But like, no, I, I don't mean like that. I mean like if you can draw, then you have the ability to sell art in my mind. Yeah. Like if you can draw with any competency, then I'm like, oh, you can make money doing that, and I can't. So you're an artist. Yeah. So I got into video for basically just like um, like happy feelings. Like oh, I got loads of notifications, likes, and subscribes, and mm. people saying I really like these videos. So that like propelled me forward, mm -hmm. but it took me a while to realize that editing is boring and I don't like it and mm -hmm. I, I hate it and it mm -hmm. sucks, especially when it's with video games, mm -hmm. because unlike you know a pony show or whatever, your your the footage you gr gather is not like prepackaged as to what it is. You have yeah. to film it yourself, <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and you have to find and the games are really long. You have to find specific moments if you want the footage to be correct to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And it's hard being an analysis guy. I like video games, but I don't really care too much about analysis. 
Um, like, I like hearing about it, and I like thinking about it, but... I don't know, it just wasn't really my thing. Mm -hmm. so, so, you, so you switch away from that. Yeah. Do you think that you will have another major medium shift by Raycon 5? Where do you see yourself mm, going? I mean... Will you finally kill yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Don't take it away from me. Everybody's got to get asked that question. Yeah. Um, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I think, I think that I'll be... I think um, in terms of like medium shifts, I got into the drawing, because like drawing and like art and comics and like it might not be comics, mm -hmm. but it will be, you know, creating uh, worlds. It might, I might go harder into writing. Right. I might go like... Uh, harder into boner. Harder into boner. Uh, into like animation, like so, some like creating a world, creating characters, doing cool like making of stuff, like ha making a cartoon, like mm -hmm. you know stuff like that. I don't I don't imagine that I would like switch and do something completely different exclusively. Mm -hmm. Like I I like uh, I have in like sure. aspirations to make like music and albums yeah. and stuff. You, you can't be. I, I, you're not saddled with one medium. No, no one I, is, yeah. I, I like, ha I mean, I don't know whether I like, but I just have a propensity to get into a lot of things that I just like, oh, I like that, I want to do that. I want to make uh, gorillas, I want to make um, fucking uh, video games mm -hmm. that I've seen already, I just want to make Homestuck. Mm -hmm. I want to make things that I like and just do it, but I did mm -hmm. it. Um, but I, I think, like, the most, the like, thing I'm most proficient in is drawing, so mm -hmm. I'll probably be doing something like that yeah. forever. Now, speaking as a fan of you, I, I am a very charmed by your audio-visual comedic timing and aesthetic. And you obviously can draw, and you have done animations before. That, that, I mean, that's what you went to school for. Yeah. So more hippo animations would be like, dude, that's like the best of both worlds. That's like yeah. god here. I have been thinking of like doing, like with Red Man and Gun Girl, just mm -hmm. like really short like webisodes, of just. Mm -hmm. mm. Like, you know the, the Red Man comics where it's just Red Man mm -hmm. saying some bullshit? Um, I could easily make a really simple, like, like five, five minute, board. like, non, or, uh, like, YouTube algorithm optimized, like, length of video. Uh, just, like, old school animation, like, five minute, two minute, cool thing where Red Man says, Ugh, I'm stupid. Like, and <laughs> skateboards off screen. And then one ends and everyone, and everyone claps because they like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that would be, like, a nice, like, Money sink that is just cool to do. Yeah, sure. It wouldn't, sure. It wouldn't really propel me anywhere, but it'd be cool. I, I, I like cool things. Epic. Um, die. Digibro, who yeah. are you? What? <laughs> who am I? Who are you? Yeah, who? Are where, you where were you last Radcon and where do you hope to be by Radcon 5? Boy, let me tell you. Radcon 3 could be seen as the, the beginning of my tailspin. Mm -hmm. As I dove into the ground and died. I feel that. So, you know, it was it was it was Christmas of 2017. I came to Boston to visit Munchie and Nate and Tom and Ben. Dab. Did you actually show up to that? I don't yeah. think you. I did. I live in Boston. Did were you there the same time that I was? That everyone was there for Christmas. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody was there for Christmas. The Christmas so the double date thing. Yeah. yeah. It was double the, date times two plus one. Yeah. yeah. Um, before I come three, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Okay. So we all met up in Boston, and Munchie was like hard selling me on how Boston's a cool place, mm -hmm. and May was like, "Oh, I've always wanted to live in Boston," and we were like, "All right." Let's move to Boston. We'll do PCP, we'll do Radcon 3 in Boston so that we can like house hunt and scope for shit. <clears throat> now, at this time, I was throwing around Fliff like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Spending a lot of money on weed, spending a lot of money on paying people to help me make my videos such as you mm -hmm. or Tom or Jesse, all of whom I hired to do like contract work on videos. I was like, this is my way forward is I'm going to start using the extra money I have because I was living very low cost of living at the time. Um, like, uh, you know, we decide I just had tons of extra money. So I was like, I'm going to pour this into having other people help me and that'll be how I make my stuff better. And I'm also going to work on only like big, interesting projects because I had made We Have Accepted Mediocrity at the start of that year, yeah. a video that was very popular that was just very calling good, out too. YouTube. Shout for, out to Davu. Shout hey. out to Davu who is the only reason that video is good because it's <laughs> just an unscripted rant. No, but, no, uh, no. You're really quiet in the mic. 
I am? Yeah. Uh, it all sounds fine. Hello? Okay. Okay. Is good. anyone You're there? Don't, don't trust with that. Hello? Okay. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, I, I'm, 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 like, trying to make bigger videos, more fucking real-ass content. And then it kind of began... When I started the, when I did the finish or fail video, where I wrote the script really quickly and I sent it to Davu, thinking it would take like a week. And while he was doing, like you know, while he's doing that, I'm gonna start work on my next big thing, which is gonna be how they marketed. Mm. And it's gonna I be remember this. at Radicon Three, you hyping up how they marketed. In fact, was, that's where all those munchy bumpers, how they marketed, were yes. recorded. All of you were supposed to be involved in how they marketed mm. because the plan, the original plan for this series was that it was supposed to be uh, exploring the marketing of different shows and then using that marketing to promote the videos themselves. Mm -hmm. And so the main show I wanted to talk about was Pop Team Epic, which was developed mm -hmm. basically as a marketing gimmick. Like mm -hmm. the point of the show was to use these this this like popular comic strip as a vehicle and like fill it with memes and fill it with shit that would get people to tweet about it and just like promote itself. But then the rest of the show is all this like weird fucking animation and like super outsider art. And so I was like, I want to do that. I want to make a Pop Team Epic video, but like the the idea is that it seems like a pop team epic video but it keeps veering into other people's content basically and so like there would be just a munchy segment a mm -hmm. tom segment you know and each one would be in whatever your art style is just brought into this video there'd be tons of memes tons of references like i just wanted to imitate the feel of the show in the video and so like that was going to be a very expensive video to make because i was going to hire everybody to to do their input, and I'm like, this is my way forward. Spend money to make money. Spend mm. money to make money. They, yeah. That's what they say, right? Mm -hmm. that's, so that's that's the <laughs> adage. So, uh, so it's adage, did you? Adage. You got yelled at in uh, the two. I don't care. Book. Anyway, so I'm working on <laughs> how they market it. I'm conceptualizing it while that video is in the editing bay. Radcon 3 is coming up. Mm -hmm. I'm so, I'm like, all I'm focused on is planning how they market it. I don't work on the planning for, for Radcon 3 at all. Mm -hmm. um, and it was made clear that I could not bring my girlfriend to the Rad House. Uh -huh. So I was yeah. like, well, I'm not going for seven days by myself. Fuck that. I have all this extra money. I'll just buy a fucking hotel room. And you can stay in this hotel room for this whole time. It's funny to think back. There was a man long ago who once asked to bring his girlfriend to Radcon. We had a similar policy for that. So it really just seems consistent. Oh, you mean Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> in Jeff's case, damn, <laughs> destroyed, in Jeff's obliterated. Case, it was that he was already there and asking if he could bring his girlfriend. Uh, right? Wasn't I, he? Wasn't it like like a week before? I don't think he was, he was like was, expected to be there, and he just like he decided he wanted to come or something like yeah. that. It's something along those lines. It was especially weird because it was just like my house, and I was like, well, yeah. I don't know your girlfriend. Like I. I, I kind of know you. I kind of trust you. Yeah. I don't know your girlfriend who you just started dating. Uh, anyway. Well, regardless. Uh, so, Radcon 3, you know, I got a hotel. Uh, we did that. Radcon 3 was great. Um, lots of good stuff came out of it. But most, like, most of the main content was stuff that's going to take a long time to edit. Mm -hmm. And again... Just like this time, I mostly came and did like tons of behind the scenes stuff, random weird. Like, I try to get stuff out during Radcon because mm. for the audience, it's like we hype it up. We're like, oh, Radcon, we're going to be here for a week. And then for them, it's like they, they see a few live streams, I guess, and, and nothing else happens. And they're just like, oh, Radcon's fucking gay, you know? No, there has to be stuff coming out during Radcon so people feel excited about the event, is my mentality. But then, like, doing all that work for the PCP, I come home. And there's nothing for my channel. There's nothing mm -hmm. for me to show for, for, for Radcon 3. And I haven't finished conceptualizing how they marketed. And Davu is still working on my other big video. I don't remember if that came out like before or after Radcon actually happened. But I think it was afterwards. I think he was working on it while I think it was there. after, but I'm not sure. So all of that in mind, when that finish or fail video finally came out, it dramatically underperformed. I'm expecting it to get like 300,000 views. It gets like 50,000 views. And its main purpose was to advertise how they marketed. Mm -hmm. So the fact that it failed 
as an advertising platform for the for that series already made me like, uh oh, like I fucked up. Also, Finish or Fail took way too long to come out, and at this point, I made another huge mistake. I was really obsessed with Denzel Curry at the time, the rapper, and. I had the idea to make a documentary about him because he was just starting to like oh, blow I up. Remember that. There were tons of interviews coming out with him and like his fan base was getting really passionate. If I had done this documentary, it would have been the best idea of any of any, any of the ideas I had. It mm -hmm. would have been got by far the most views. Denzel Curry blew up really big not long after this, so it and he definitely would have retweeted my video. So like and I knew all that at the time, which is why I wanted to do it, but Adding in another big project, which as I worked on it, continually escalated in scope because I kept wanting to make it better, rewriting parts of it, doing more research, adding in more clips. Suddenly I've got just hours of interviews downloaded on my computer that I have to sort through if I want to find everything I want. And I was just like, this project is becoming overwhelming. Meanwhile, we're trying to house hunt to move to Boston. We have to leave at the start of May, you know? So I've got you know, this big hole in my content from when I did RadCon. I've got two big projects in the work. Neither of them is close to done. What do I do? Uh, I'll record a bunch of Bloodborne Let's Plays, and that will I'll use those to, like, just fill the gaps while I'm moving. So I record, like, 20 episodes of Bloodborne Let's Plays. No, it had to be, like, 30 or 40 episodes, but we released, like, 20 of them. Um, and then we had 20 more that were supposed to, like, pad the gap after we moved. But they, they, the hard drive, when we moved, like, failed. Wow. So I did not have access to these Bloodborne Let's Plays. And when the second we move, because we move, you know, on the first of the month, mm -hmm. is when my Patreon takes its monthly hit, right? Yeah. So the Patreon, uh, because of the fact that for this past month, nothing has come out. I'm working on two big projects. Nothing's actually mat materialized. My Patreon just goes, mm, straight down. Mm -hmm. Lost, like, over $1,000. Oh, my and, God, really? Yeah, it was. It went from, like, Jesus. over 4000 to around 3000 And this is right when I moved into a house where the rent was $2,300 a month. Mm -hmm. And I had to pay triple rent up front when I moved in because of the fact that they didn't... They, they let me move in because of my credit score, but they said I... Like, they didn't think I made enough money. So, like, to mm -hmm. prove I had enough money... They made me do like a triple down payment. Mm -hmm. um, so the end result of this is that it was also tax time at the same time. Mm -hmm. And when it came time for me to go to file my taxes, because of the expenditure of the move and the, the triple down payment, I only had exactly enough in my bank account to pay my taxes. Mm -hmm. And I was like, clearly, I am not going to pay these because that would leave me with no money to move around with if anything bad happens. Mm -hmm. And then something bad immediately happened because uh, me and May had a dual mental breakdown about a month into living in, in Boston. So after that, everything was just like all plans, any ideas up to that point were just like all this is gone. Like I don't care about how they market it. I don't care about anything. I just care about making money and pulling myself out of this tailspin because I will be fucked if this continues the way it is mm. um mm. and it was immediately clear uh when winter came like we thought that we we like i loved the house that we were in because it, it was big and weird and like had lots of odd hallways and i was like i'm gonna decorate this place and make it super cool but like i couldn't afford to put anything in the house it's like i have no money like I had, you know, 15 grand in the bank, but in my mind, that was just tax money that needed to be held on to, you know? I mean, if I think of it that way right now, I have negative money in the bank. But, like, um, you know, the... Were, were, were we talking about Radcon 3? Yes, we're... we're the space yeah. between Radcon 3 Pardon and Pardon me, now. Professor. <laughs> this is the how we got here story. Okay. Uh, so, so, Boston, huge bust, lost a lot of money, spent a lot of time recovering, put out a video every day for a month... And then I just spent, like, this whole interim time trying to figure out, like, what am I trying to do with my career? Like, because I yeah, think I've sure. hit, I've pretty much reached the height of what I think you can do with, like, just anime analysis videos. Like, mm -hmm. my videos, uh, I've made a video that's, like, as good as I think this can get at this point. And, uh, you know. Do you have one specifically in mind when you say that? I would say The Great Anime Director Who Time Forgot. Okay. Like, that video is my favorite one I've done, and it's pretty much just perfect. Like, there's nothing I'd change about it. It's, um, it's pretty much ideal, and, like, having already made that, it's, like, from that point forward, any new video I do, like, I just think of it as, like, try to make it that good. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the one I did recently on the most underrated anime, mm -hmm. like, 
I, I would consider that pretty much the same. It's not as well edited because Davu didn't do it, but like, that's as good as you can really get with an anime analysis video. And it's like, I want to see if I can do something else. So I started working on lots of other projects while we were in Boston. I started writing novels, started trying to work on video games. Me and Tom were constantly coming up with all these crazy big brain fucking ideas that would usually fall through because we did not have time to work on them. Um, we did IM games, we were live streaming, heavy into branding, constantly changing gears, um, finally moved to Virginia Beach after our lease was up. Uh, everything has been much better since moving here, just quality of life, have money in the bank again, able to do things just more easily and better. Uh, so yeah, ever since moving here, life has been great, but it's also been moving extremely fast. Uh, and from my perspective, it feels like I've only been here for like a couple months, and it's been almost a year, um, just because I have not stopped working. Um, and one of the coolest things about being in the middle of the East Coast is, uh, people tend to just be passing through. So, like, Nate's passed through, Don Jolly passed through one time, uh, Econ and Nino came up, and so, like, I've just kind of mm. been doing these, like, micro radcon esque events where, like, two people come to my house and I just force them to make content all weekend. Mm. And uh, through that spawned content. So where do yep. I hope to be by Radcon 4? Um, I five. Five. <laughs> uh, my, Cinco. Depending on how long it takes, my expectation is that the PCP will have basically been cannibalized by content hmm. and uh, I am games. And that, that, will, sure. be, that will be the central <laughs> brand of, uh, that me and Nate rule over with an iron fist. And everyone who's not sure. Nate and Digi are all like, oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> well, uh... One more reason not to support Canton. <laughs> well, there's nothing they can do to Damn. stop it other than not watch, because there is no Patreon yet. It's but one day, it's coming soon. <laughs> it does need to Keep an eye out for a Kickstarter, one of these first <laughs> That would actually be really cool if you guys started a Patreon and split the fan base and there was a war. And the yeah. PCP finally, finally self-destructed I mean, and died. Did the Podgy cast cause a split amongst PCP fans because it is a separate Patreon? I think that's Maybe. too. That's a little bit too niche. The degree to do is that. How do we know? When, yeah, I, when yeah. I say okay, what I meant by cannibalizing the PCP is not that it would cause any kind of fjord than the audience. Yeah, what I meant yeah. is that content would simply grow so large that it would be in everyone else's best interest to be a part of content instead of the PCP. That's uh, my plan. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sure. That yeah. that'd be pure benefit to everyone. Yes. No, I'm not being I'm not being sarcastic. I want that to happen. I know you do. I, do. I, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, I forgot to mention content, uh, I don't know, I, I always under, I, I have such an aversion in life to overselling things and overhyping things, I'll do anything to avoid mm -hmm. it. I want the, the no problem, expectations. I mean, it sucked because immediately after it started, basically, there was the whole yeah. channels got... That yeah. did happen to us. That was a big event. I, honestly, when when the hack happened, I made no assumption that it would ever come back. I just assumed sure. it was gone. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not gonna work on this until it's back. I fucking there's. I'm not gonna give any energy to this. For the record, that will just go into the fucking void. Quick summary for the ages. My fault. The channels got hacked due to a fuck up. Doing some deal installed, some bad software. All seven channels of ours got hacked, but they are now. All back. They have all been yeah. restored. So that's that's good news. We killed the guy responsible. Brad is deceased. Mm -hmm. He will no longer You'll live. You'll all see the story of it. It's yeah. quite, quite yep. Epic. It is truly a legendary tale. Okay, so Nate hopes to be a YouTube main man and be yep. making money. Yep. Uh, Hippo wants to uh, progress as an artist and make more stuff and be a real boy who makes comics and people sit still look at that guy and say, "Hey, he makes comics." And, and a writer. He goes, yes. Yeah. Mm. Digi wants to be making I, money. I, I want to be. Content. I want to be better known as a writer than as a video maker. But mm. I don't think that's gonna happen by Radcon Five. So. Yeah. To, oh, we didn't even talk about it. You have a whole novel series yes. that you're doing. I have a novel. That's right. Series. The Road to Radcon Four. Yeah. Yes. yeah everyone's favorite. Road to Radcon Four, which we we should work on concluding while we're here. Right. Yes. Sure. Um, and uh, but Omega. also Kus Omega, and that's my. I have a very large. My plans for Kus Omega are quite ambitious and I hope to have them all done within the year mm. but I want to make it like a I, w I would describe it as like a micro sprawling franchise like it has uh, elements of everything but they're all small mm -hmm. you know so that's that's sure. like my my vision for it overall. okay so being a writer and making money yeah. can tend both of also yep. to answer the previous question What's the best thing to come out of Radcon so far? Yeah, mm. uh, the Brad Garlinghouse lecture was probably my outright favorite thing we've done so far. Yeah, it's pretty good. I thought it was just so it. 
I mean, it felt that way in the moment. I haven't seen it back, but yeah, it yeah. felt really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, the lectures have all been great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll it's see. enough for me. Tom, you've been crippled for the past, like, hundred years. Vic, you gotta turn the camera to Tom. I'm getting to it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't start talking yet. Yeah, I mean, I've always been crippled my whole life, but now just it's visibly mm -hmm. represented mm -hmm. in physical form. So, RadCon 3 to 4, what, uh, what's yeah. the, the journey? Um, well, Radcon 3 ended. It was pretty fucking good. Yep. Uh, then everything, I guess, changed with my content. Like, because me and Munchie were talking up, we're going to do Investigator, going to do Twitter Sloth, it's going to be sick. Oh, we're, right. We, we did our art apology. We committed Seppuku on God, camera. It's, it's yeah. weird to think that Radcon 3, like, Investigator and Sorcerer Sloth were still in the works. Yeah, they were still, like, and, on the table. I'm and just like, we I, made, we I made big, bold promises that they're coming. <laughs> we basically said if we don't finish these, we will kill ourselves, and we're still here, oh. and we lied completely. You're doing... Okay, comics are cool, but you're making a video game, which yeah. is way cooler. It is much cooler. Well, he's not yeah. making a video game right now. I'm making a, You it's... have made a video game, yeah. and, yeah. You, and yeah. plan to make more. Wait, Wait you're not making a video game? Um, well, I've got, I got this whole big, I talked about it in the Yeah, go watch the, the, the video Digi's creative consultation with Tom Oliver, where he talks about how Azumi is currently more expanding... It As was always supposed to be a multimedia game. brand character, mm -hmm. an edgy, and hot topic. Since the game is taking too long to make, it's it's currently looking like doing other things with the character. Got to build up the brand go. first, so then the game can come in and be fucking based as fuck sure. and not cringe. Sure. Uh, mm. yeah. yeah. So pretty much all your energy is on that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying because like someone is actually talking to me about this on the live stream last night, which is deleted. Press F. Um, Somebody save it. Somebody with it. They were talking about tab. like why aren't you doing programming, and it's like, well, to make a really cool video game, you got to do programming, but you also need three D modeling, and you also need animation. Yep. And it's like, well, I can do coding first and have nothing to show for it because coding by itself is boring and no one cares. Mm -hmm. Or I can learn the animation and the three D first and like have tons of content come out with that while I'm learning it to build up the brand and then do the coding. Mm -hmm. And that seems like the more intelligent. Path of acquiring this is skills. typically why video games are made by teams of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Toby Fox. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, yeah. So the idea right now is just like I had this whole thing where me and my friend Matt, we were doing like a big like accountability group. We had a bunch of people in there trying to like keep ourselves hype, and then a bunch of people we brought in were all doing video games, and they peer pressured me into making a video game. And so when I came up with the Zoomy, my idea was like, okay. I've been trying to make big, sprawling, crazy fantasy stories for like a decade, and every single one of them has collapsed under its own bloat. So what if I made a character and worked in a way that was purposely, completely opposite all of my natural inclinations? What if I just made a purely aesthetic character with no story, with no lore, and it was just fucking cool, and that was the only guiding principle? You, you call it George Costanza. You did the opposite of every natural instinct you had. <laughs> exactly. And it worked out great. <laughs> and and uh, the character took off in a way that nothing else I've ever done has. People were doing fan art like instantly and uh, mm -hmm. it was just like, I did it, I figured it out, I cracked the code. Gotta get those furry bucks apparently. Yeah. So, Base. they were just like, you gotta make a video game. So that's where the idea came from, was like making a video game. So the big moonshot project with like all the fucking deep cool things is all in this video game that will happen in like 40 years. Um, but in the meantime, I made a cool like Guilty Gear style shader so I can make cool 2D that looks 3D or 3D yeah. that looks 2D. It's fucking sick. It's gonna be dope. And as soon as Radcon is over, it's back to the grindstone. And I got like uh, some like picture books and comics and like four comas and animations and maybe doing some AMV music videos. It's just like learning 3D, learning animation, and just putting a zoomy on everything. And hopefully that'll work. Mm. Tom, I think. They're making some sort of like new train system that's better than the commuter rail that goes from Worcester to Boston. So when that happens, move to Worcester so we can actually see each other. Because we we live like in the same state, no. kind of near one another. Looks this like is the first time you in like a decade. You think you're gonna get Tom before I get Tom? Oh, I have, I have empty rooms in my house, my friend. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> so, is there is there still hope or intention for that to happen? I mean, I mean it'd it, be cool. Yeah. We. I mean, Tom has said from the start that like he has no desire to live in Boston as he hates Boston. Oh, I had no okay. idea. It's not even that I hate Boston. I hate cold. 
Yeah, he right. hates yeah. cold. Right. Is really bad. And I, Boston is always the nor'easters cold. Have, have been a blight on my life ever since I was a wee lad, sure, and they sure. never end. I hate that a lot. Mm. Um, I don't know. I still, I'm still hoping out hope that somehow we can all converge on one location because that is still the dream. And we'll never move to Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach can suck shit. <laughs> Damn. Dude, we've had a great time this whole week. This is not Virginia. You Beach, say that, but record. one day this is the normal. dollars could tell a different story. No, they won't. That's stupid. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Mm. What a weirdly sinister happen. sentence to say to someone. I mean, I mean, Ben's always you know, so typical. But, but guys, nothing on this fucking earth could ever compel me to leave this city where I have like Virginia some connections to some sucks. things. I lived here for years. You just sucks. like had a car. Like that would like completely change I mean, your that, life. That's no. the question, though. Would but being a bitch, I don't want to move to your dumb city. It's not my city. Well, you're moving there. I mean, maybe, yeah. Why don't you just get a car? You're, you're the one with the hand. Then it's like man. a moral, like. I don't want a car. Indignation against cars. Well, yeah, sure. And I also, a just, and a I also just don't like Virginia Beach. What? Huh? I mean, for what it's worth, Fight at me. the time, I didn't like Virginia Beach because we lived in the shittiest part of Virginia Beach. Mm. Now I me, love it. Every location to me is identical because I live inside and I don't agree. do anything. I agree. So completely. I have no interest in where I live. Yes. Speaking as someone who's lived their entire lives in their bedroom and then finally once he moved to Boston was able to realize, oh wait, the outside's cool. I go outside every single day now. I use the, the public transport every Look, single day. I live in... Ben mm. pays $500 rent, right? Or around there? Less. I live less, in the Less ghetto. than $500. So I he's live literally able to live in Boston and have a great time. Right? I live in, in the thanks, ghetto thanks in for having, Thanks for having my back. It is a shitty place to live. I I would rather live, I don't know, like uh, California, someplace nice, Hawaii, that would be nice. The reality of my life is that I am inside working. The, yes, there would be quality of life, things better. Being here in Virginia Beach is way better than the place I live currently. But the reality day to day is that I'm inside doing shit. Honestly, the reason to live in a better place is because it would make, you know, my girlfriend happier and she would be much happier living here. That's the main reason that it even matters to me a little bit. Other than that, I mean, if there's any degree of just more convenience by living in a place that's just less nice, that, it, like, work is my priority. Being able to do my work well and efficiently and whatever, that's, like, 90% of what I care about in life, and then the other 10% is it. So, I mean, if people don't agree with that, fair enough. But that's just why I think that I don't care where I am. I'll just do anything as long as it has, like, the bare minimum shit that I need to get by. I'll travel to places once in a while when I fucking feel like it and go do fun things. I don't think anyone's opposed to coming to Virginia Beach to Except hang out. Ben. He just said that he is. He said I would never move there. I said, I said to hang out, yes. Okay, fair enough. Just let people live where they want to live. If everyone wants to live in Virginia Beach, that's okay. I mean, Ben's I, just putting this like, it'll never happen, man. Because he doesn't want to live I he's don't, lived here I before. don't he's want to come lived here. here I mean, I'm, for what it's worth, like, it's not as though we need Ben to move down here. Like, yeah. he can come... Like you said, visit. Yeah, there's a very clear like network of people who like I mean, can work the, together. What what happened in Boston, particularly at Radcon 3.33, like what became clear at least to me was that like Munchie and Ben have no real interest in like being YouTubers mm -hmm. and like making a main central pillar of their life be doing YouTube content. Mm -hmm. It's like you guys sure. want to do endless war, you want to do your own art. You have your own community. There are literally only two people <laughs> in this room whose goals are remotely similar. And right. it's Nate and Digi. Exactly. So beyond you guys them, should, no you one guys should have a blast <laughs> doing it. So it's 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 yeah. but well you say that it's only two people, except that Tom also has like for him it's quite easy to just kind of uh, be in things with us, like I don't know. For for Tom I Tom suppose. Tom well, and I have talked ever. a lot about his I'm trying to like not speak for you while you're not paying attention, but like I was just checking chat, make sure nothing was going wrong. Because you've you've talked about before how like you 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 know you have your own work and you're very passionate about like your your personal projects, but you also find it almost easier to like just work on someone else's thing yeah. and like be a part of I that. Mean, I like especially if it benefits you monetarily. As someone who's been a fucking hermit their entire lives and has no real life connections, uh, collaboration is cool, especially when it's in person with other people and you can vibe off each other's hype yeah. because the hardest thing for yeah. me to do on my solo projects is motivation because right. everything I feel like I'm doing myself inherently has less value because but, I'm a broken man. But like, and, and when, when you and I were trying to work together on I Am Games, like, it always came down to like, I have my own YouTube career, but I would, you know, I would take time away from that to try to, to try to make I Am Games more of a thing and you have your 3D career and you try to take time away to that to make this more of a thing. But like ultimately, 
it was like, you know, one of us would have had to make it like the real focus of our career for right. a while for it to work. The way but like if <clears throat> me and Nate are living in the same spot and we were able, like we had the time to do a show like that we could put more focus into, mm -hmm. then I feel like it, it's it makes more sense for you and I to do that when like you know our goals are literally the same, whereas yours yeah. are like more ancillary to that. It's sure. like. You know, you're not trying to be a YouTuber. You're just down to do YouTube videos if there's like a successful venture here that you can easily slot yourself into. You know, it doesn't even have to be successful. Just like, hey, there are well, people yeah, I like yeah. doing cool things. I don't mean I'll successful. Be a part of it. Why not? You know, successful is a subjective yeah. term, and it, to me, any any channel with like 1,000 subscribers is successful in my mind. Like because that's so high above the baseline of what I had before I started having subs that mm. like. A thousand subs to me is always like, oh, you've already got your foot in the door, you know? Sure, sure. Um, anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, ben. Yes, mm -hmm. where where have you been since last RadCon? Where do you hope to be? Uh, I guess we made Endless War. Yes, we did. That do was, wanna, pretty, wanna talk that about was that? pretty funny and wacky. <laughs> uh, like a month after we got back from RadCon 3. From, yeah. from, from my perspective, it has always seemed like that has just been you guys' entire lives since then. But is that it feels that way sometimes. Basically. Um, kinda. I, for a while, I was like, like, making the game. And then, like, lately I haven't really been making it, but I've been working on Slime and Punishment, which is adjacent to it. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, I don't I don't know what else to say about the time in between. I mean, I guess I was making more comics. You moved uh, back to Boston. Moved back to Boston. I did the Vapors Two Kickstarter, Kickstarter which I'm still yeah. waiting on guest art for. I'm Munchie. sorry. Ah! It's okay. <laughs> uh, um, had two kidney stones. <laughs> yeah, that was my favorite cool. part. Uh, Wendy Hito. Wendy Hito uh, yeah. really hard into leftists. Yeah, lost, I was about to say, lost, yeah. lost fifty pounds. Got really woke. Gain 50 pounds in my energy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've just been, I've just been uh, fucking around. Fucking around on my tablet in Manga Studio. Uh, making a bunch of bullshit for like two years. Where do you want to be and by that's Radcon 5? Um, um, it's doing the same thing, but with more people watching. That's it. Yeah. Not more money, more people watching. I mean, tomato, One tomato. The other. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. I, I don't know. Is that a boring like, answer? A, yes, extremely. Ben, ben. Excruciating. Cool. Ben, I'll, I'll probably, <laughs> if, if we end up doing... That was this, torture. <laughs> if, I, I totally forgot I was supposed to do those creative consult, consultation videos with everybody, but if I did oh, one yeah. with you, one of the questions I asked Tom is like, is there a dollar amount you're like hoping to reach? Um... What, on Patreon? Like per month, yeah. Well, not just like through your Patreon, but just like in like your total income, income in a yeah. month. Like, is there a, like a mm. number that you you visualize yourself as like, oh, I'd be like really happy if I was just making this amount. Um, uh, I kind of feel like I already am past the threshold of like, I make enough that I can keep doing what I'm doing and I won't die. Well, that's good. Is that your only ambition, though? Is there anything you want yeah, pretty beyond much. not dying? All no, right. not really. That's so cool. What else do you need? It's pretty fucking Spartan. It's pretty base. Yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty fucking awesome. Fucking base. As long as... Just, just gotta keep my biological functions continuing so I can keep generating image digital imagery <laughs> to be disseminated throughout culture. Yeah. That's yeah. the only that's, ben the, is that's the only goal. The lyrics to Hunger Strike by fucking Temple of the Dog. I don't know. <laughs> the song what that goes, means. Well, I don't mind stealing <laughs> bread from <laughs> the mouths of the <laughs> dead. <laughs> wait, wait, but then he says, But I can't feed on the underfed oh, when God. my cup's already overfilled. So I'm going hungry. I'm going hungry. Hey! Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's me. Um, Excellent. I guess that sums it up. Huh? Do, do you have any other aspirations whatsoever? Like, do you want everything to stay like, exactly the same? But you have more money now. What would I? What would I change? I don't know. You don't have to like, improve in some way I, that I can't <laughs> understand because I'm not you. Um, I'll just get better at doing my shit now. I don't have to like. I don't. I that'll just happen. I don't have to I have to worry about it. That'll just happen naturally. It's, we all, are, it's already happened. We are desperate for some insight into the mystery of Ben's. I just yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know what you want me to tell you, dude. <laughs> I, I knew this would happen. I'm just... What's happening? I'm just vibing <laughs> over here. insane. I'm just vibing I, over here. He's just yeah, vibing. Right. Jesse, do you care? Do you care about your own life? <laughs> <laughs> what? Your what happened existence. to you between Radcon 3 and now? Um, everything bad and nothing good, and uh, no, well, everything that was already happening at the point of Ragnarok. Well, that's true. And then it um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, okay, the entire period of my life between like 2016 and 2020 is is just a, a constant dark spiral of of abject misery and pain. Um, and then I moved, and I guess it got a little bit better, and uh, now I'm here. <laughs> where, where do you want to be by Radcon 5? Uh, rich. <laughs> What's um, the avenue I mean, for that? me too. But. Yeah, um, I don't know. I've basically, I've been like really, I'm in this uh, transitionary period of like realigning goals and pursuits of like really trying to branch out and like get back to being a human and doing stuff outside of the YouTube bubble. Mm -hmm. um, I've been... Uh, I've been I've been getting back into stand up. I've been doing some stand up stuff. It was really legendary. Yeah. Back um, a million years ago. I've been uh, uh, try I've been like learning how to like have fun again. Like. Teach me about that, cause I don't know what that's like. Well, I I got into edibles. Oh, never mind. And then I, I started exactly and I <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and I started going to the movie theater alone. And mm -hmm. <laughs> that's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. And, and so uh, like I I I try to take like some. Uh, some time for me out of the week where I just go in my car and on some adventure to anywhere. Like sometimes I'm like, I'm gonna go to the big movie theater two cities over. <laughs> and then sometimes I'm like, no, fuck that. I'm gonna go to the woods and walk around in the woods and explore. And sometimes I'm like, I'm gonna fucking uh, do some other shit. I don't fucking know. Uh, so anyways, I've been, I've been doing the stand-up thing. I've been working out a lot. And my ultimate goal with the working out is uh, to get my body looking really good and then uh, finally do what I was supposed to do uh, 10 years ago, which is train to be a professional wrestler. Thank God. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, th this was the like turning point mistake of my entire life. When I got out of high school a, a million years ago or something, uh, I had like... Fucking, you know, people give you money at your open house or whatever. So yep. I had like a thousand dollars or something, which at that point was the most money I'd ever seen in my life. And um, I was looking up wrestling schools because I didn't know what else to fucking do with my life, and it just seemed cool. Uh, and I found a guy, uh, Truth Martini. He had a wrestling school. He's a he's a cool guy. I've seen him on TV on like Ring of Honor and stuff. So he's a he's a real man. And uh, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to Truth Martini's wrestling school. It was like a thousand bucks to get in. Um, but then it was also like a thousand bucks for like a laptop. And uh, mm. I bought the laptop mm. and I started making videos on YouTube. Wow. And it was the fucking, it was the ground zero of my entire <laughs> horrible life. That one decision ruined everything. Uh, so now, even though like I'm not 20 anymore and it might be too late, uh, I just, I, I do have, I still harbor these aspirations of being involved in that business some way in an official capacity, either as a wrestler or even as a manager or an announcer, whatever the fuck mm -hmm. I'd like. But my goal is right now to get in shape, which has always been a goal anyways, because I've been out of shape for many fucking years. Uh, so I'm doing that. I'm doing stand up. I'm trying to, I want to do more, like, get more into music and stuff and like, Lab with people. I've been like, I've been kind of like reconnecting with friends that I've let, like friendships that have gone to the wayside as I've been more sucked into the YouTube lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been hanging out with my friend Cody LaRue. I've been acting more. I, we've been like writing skits. We, I wrote a pilot that we're planning on filming at some point for a, for a sick sci fi series. It's going to be dope. Uh, Flint Rat Films, YouTube is the channel. Um,. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just branching. And I'm, even, like, even to the point of, like, looking up normie work, which has always been a dream of mine, is to yeah, just you be... You mean movies? Is that what you mean by normie work? Well, no, that's, all, that's part of my, like, creative sickness. Okay. But, uh, like, I've been looking up, like, fucking give me a fucking job, please, you know? Oh, like, oh, normie work is in you work with your hands, and you, okay, <laughs> okay. 
I think it's normie artwork. Yeah, no. no, well, like no. I, no. I used to work on a farm like before all this started. Yeah. I was like a gardener and like a sheep shearer and a and a. Uh, what what do they call the guys who herd the fucking bastards? Shepherd, Shepherd yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was that was my job. I can't remember the name of it, but that was my job for a while. Um, you know, ba- bailing and stacking hay and stuff, and like I love working on the farm. Like I love physical labor, and it's like my body's pretty broken down now from sitting at a computer desk for eleven years. But like, man, I don't know. Fucking put a hard hat on me. Let me be. I fucking the movie They Live with with Rowdy yeah. Roddy Piper. Which is supposed to be, like, a dystopia, right? He starts off the movie, he's living in a shanty town, just, like, he just walks into a construction site and gets a job, and it's supposed to be, like, that's, this is the beginning of the movie where he's, like, poor and destitute, and it's the sad part, but, like, I was watching the movie again the other day, I'm like, this part of the movie that is the poor, humble beginnings is my dream. I just want to wander into a town and be ripped and buff. And someone puts a hard hat on me, and I live in a shanty town and eat beans out of the can and, and work physical labor every day and get my little, my $250 paycheck. And uh, that'd be pretty fucking cool. Those are achievable goals. Yeah. And then, but then also, like, I found, I was, like, you know, looking for other work, and I found, uh, like, I started looking for writing jobs, because that's a thing that I'm actually good at. And so I found one that was, like, a... Uh, looking for a science fiction ghostwriter, mm-hmm. and it's like we're a magazine or something, uh, just like in that episode Wait, of Star Trek: they're, Deep they're Space like, Nine, yeah, that's right. where like where Cisco Captain Cisco boys, yeah. was in the 1950s yeah. as a science fiction writer. It was like, hey, well, we're a science fiction publication or whatever. Uh, we just want someone to write the prose. We will give you the characters and the big story beats, and you figure out what to do. And I'm like. I could apply for that fucking job. That'd be fucking Wait, sick. Where do you even find just, jobs? Just write a novel and get paid for it and not have yeah. to, like... Huh? Where do you even find job listings like that? Like Craigslist and shit. Amazing. <laughs> Remember when this, the same way that normal people all over the world find jobs, yeah. I finally realized, oh, yeah, I can do that, you too. You can do that, yep. I don't, I don't have to be on fucking podcasts every week of my life. Wait. Um, Sorry. If you, if you have more, you can go. I just remembered something. Um, I don't want to interrupt, though. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, I still... I'm pretty much a retired YouTuber at this point, and like mm-hmm. I'm kind of like, I, I'm kind of at the point where like, eh, it's time for Endless Jess to go away. Like he's had his run; it was mostly a failure. Um, he can be, I can like, I don't know, redefine him or something. But like you know, I get bored. I got bored of drowning in footwear. Sure. I got sure. bored of drowning in horseshoes. Uh, I'm I'm kind of bored of Endless Jess, and it's like. I don't know, maybe, like, I'll keep the name as, like, a rap name or something, but, like, I'm mm-hmm. I'm really considering, like, completely changing my channel and all my channels and, like, finding a I, way to do something, do I, everything entirely differently than how I've been doing it. I feel the temptation to do that about every month, yeah. and then I do that about every six months. Well, I, I have <laughs> plans that I don't want to go into, but I am thinking of, like, doing stuff differently, and uh, I still am making videos... Because I have to keep the revenue coming in from Patreon. But that's all it is. I, I, I keep getting comments, and I keep having to clarify this, of people like, where is Jess? Jess never uploads videos anymore. Jess doesn't make videos. I, I make videos. I have videos coming out every month. They're just not on YouTube. I don't post them publicly because I don't care. I have zero desire <laughs> or inclination to be a public figure at all. It is a cancer and a poison in my life. Every second that I am not being a public figure, I am much happier. Uh, so, like, I am still I making content. You there, I am a creative person, and that's never going to change. But uh, most of it is, like, exclusive to Patreon right now while I sure. figure out what the hell else I'm doing in this transitory mm-hmm. period mm-hmm. of, like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Right? You know what I'm fucking saying? Ben, what did you forget? Epic. Oh. I was thinking, okay, you were talking about finding normie work. I ha- haven't really been thinking about this because I have been... Before Radcon, I was trying to crank out the finale to Slime and Punishment. And um, I haven't really... I don't know. Uh, but sometimes when I'm not like when I'm not working on something like that, sometimes I think about um, looking for work as like... Like if I wanted to get like a job job, I would really like it if I could be... 
some kind of artist on a project, like an indie game. If I could be like an in-house artist for an indie game studio, I think that would be cool. Sure. Or basically yeah. any any project that like wasn't overly restrictive, that like an artist role on any project that like I could that that I could like have create some creative like input on that I wouldn't have to like stick really rigidly to a template or something. Yeah. Um, I would just like um I don't know. Like when you made TBAP, I was I was the guy who did the art for TBAP. Yep, it would be yep. cool if there were other things that I could work on. And I wouldn't even be too too picky about it. Just anything that like I could work on and then if people saw it they'd be like, "Oh, you're the guy who did the art for whatever X thing." I guess I could even I guess I could even like um do it for like a like a comic or something. Mm -hmm. It's just so fucking hard. Uh sometimes every once in a long while I'll go on Craigslist and I'll just look for like art gigs and it's all shit and I give up immediately. Uh, I've looked like the only like indie game jobs I've been able to see is like UI designer for like a mobile app. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, uh, no, that's a nightmare. That's like that's like worse than working in a cubicle, honestly. That sounds totally thankless and pointless and just like a waste of human effort. It makes me sad. <sighs> okay, who's next? It's a tough thing to, to pin down. <laughs> like, I'm sure there are opportunities out there. There are people who want artists, but how to find them? I guess so. Together. I, I Why have, pay artists when you can just go on Twitter, steal their artwork? And you can go on Google.com and Google true. sick UI and then just download that into your But brain. then you could also Google search hot anime pussy mm -hmm. and then you could jack off instead yeah. of doing that <laughs> You're at right. all. You're right. So what's the point? <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, I find this interesting. Broadly speaking, aspiring to norma job, aspiring to norma job, maybe kind of thinking about uh, you, it. You think that's a normie job? That's yeah, not really. A, a job in well, the sense that's not I don't, a. I don't. As, I don't really aspire. Like I don't aspire to that. If I like, I would only do <clears throat> that because it would be like, boy, I should. Lights are falling. I only cool. think about that because it's like maybe maybe living on just enough money to not die immediately is like. A little dangerous. It's risky. It's and risky. maybe, maybe I should, maybe I should aim a little higher than that, financially speaking. And then I'm like, hmm. Well, if I was going to pursue that, I guess it wouldn't be too bad to do it in this way. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the way I just described, working on art in a in a way that's not overly restrictive. I would be okay with that. But like, the ul the ultimate goal is that I can just fuck around and make whatever I want, mm -hmm. and I'll have a big a big enough or dedicated enough audience that I can just survive on that. Like, if I were to go and do a job like that, my, my dream scenario would be, ah, the lights are falling. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. 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 <laughs> is that on? Is that? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. We'll see. Paradise they, they, is over. They've been up the whole week. They've stuck. They've been good boys. Yeah, yeah. The dream scenario <laughs> is that, like, I do that. Maybe I work for a studio or something. We make a project, and I do the art for it. And it's hugely successful. And then I gain clout, right? And it's like, oh, you're the you're the guy who made the thing for that thing. Oh, I I know your work, and then I gain an, 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 my own audience this from really, that. This is really your Kokoro wish. You want a game complete, except for art. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I just want clout. I just oh, want, okay. I just okay. I just want clout, clout because sure. clout is clout. clout is life. Clout is life yeah. because if you got clout, people will. Hey, people did will you, pay you it, just it, because. It, did you guys? People, people will support you just because it's you. Yeah. That's what I want. I just want. I want to make my shit, and I don't want to fucking work for anyone else mm -hmm. because I'm a communist, and I don't want anyone else extracting surplus value from me because that's rape, and, uh, right. <laughs> and I don't want just like that. taxes. It, is it fair to say <laughs> you aspire to be a demagogue? A demo? What do you mean? Like, well, to, to, be, to be a time. cult leader, clout uh, man who gets to bend people to his will and enact vengeance in the <laughs> well, world. Well, Ben's goals have so far seemed purely <laughs> financial. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, is sick. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say no to such a <laughs> thing. Like, if I, if I type yeah. saw that on Craigslist, I'd be like, I might send in a resume. Yeah, yeah. Cult leader <laughs> wanted. I mean, that would. Uh, I'm just talking about being independent. I'm just talking about being able to s survive without. Uh, Getting bossed around by the man. You know, sure, if you sure. could apply to a cult leader position, mm. the sort of internship experience that you would need would be being a YouTuber. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're much. saying. Yeah. Hmm. Primal Primal brand. Brand. Oh, I was going to say in terms of clout, I don't know if any of you ever used it back in like 2012, 2013. 
There was hey, a Tom's website. Not on screen. Why would you do I that? Up the chat, see what they're doing. Well, Shout out to Victor. <laughs> Love you, bro. Uh, there was a website back in like 2012, 2013. It might even still exist. Called yeah. Clout with a K. And you would oh, just yeah. type in your name on one of your social media accounts. It would rank you and like how much clout you had. Fascinating. Yeah. How did they quantify it? Was, it was extremely they? confusing and nobody could figure out. Yeah, where it the was fuck very strange. Was I mean, done. we have Social Blade now. It's, it's which also the same is thing. not yeah. really that accurate. They're not either. very Both accurate. Both of them are like... The metrics, them make you seem like you're way more famous than you yeah, are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They definitely seemed like best case scenarios. And as someone who was living the worst case scenario, mm -hmm. definitely not representative. Um, like, it's funny because, like, I'm, like, Saber Spark has almost a million subscribers right yep. now. Yep. And, like, on Social Blade, they say, like, he makes, like, $500,000 a year. And he's just like, no. Seems like not, that. not even remotely close. Yeah. So, well, we've all answered this question now. Let's go to other pieces. Remember, uh, Gino. Gino, what have you well, been doing since well, Radcon well, Three? No. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, I want to hear from Gino. <laughs> Harris, <laughs> God damn it, he's a star, and he's continuing to be a star. Thanks, Gino. All right, Munchie, bore us with your story now. Hey. What? 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 <laughs> There's a sibling <laughs> rivalry <laughs> going on. Gino's like the new <laughs> God. He's so PC fucking TV. huge. I know. Yeah. He's insane. <laughs> it's magnificent. <laughs> Um, what, did, what happened since last, I mean, Endless War, Endless like War. we were saying, uh, that's been my whole life. I, I, since it stopped being your whole life, it's become my whole life. But I'm, st I'm still, I'm not, like, active on the server. Well, sure. I'm making I slime, I'm making like slime, that. no, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not as, like, involved in the, the server as you are. Your, your presence is still felt. Yeah. That's all, that's the most important yeah. thing. Uh. Just don't. Forget me, I say. <laughs> Fading. <laughs> um, no, that... Slime and Punishment finale is coming out like probably like right after Radcon's done. Sick. Ow! Sick. Uh, I've gotten into doing because of Endless War and because of other stuff. I've been getting really into like doing weird stuff, and that's kind of what will lead into where do I want to be by Radcon Five. But just like in case you don't know, you've heard this a thousand times. But in case you don't know, Endless War is a <laughs> is a game that me and Ben made. It's about slime. Well, us and others. Oh, of course. Uh, and shot to crack and punishment. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you can play it, and you can enlist and rise your killers, and those are our gangs, and you should play it now. Do it, please. I beg of you. Um, <laughs> when so are we going to get Endless War 2? Never. It's time. I need the new version. I need 3D graphics. Yeah, exactly. Endless, I, need, Endless, Endless War I need microtransactions. Is the... Endless War I need a will... season pass. <laughs> Why do you need a sequel to a game that's an ever evolving organism? Because I, I, I am, I am, <laughs> I'm against live, live services as a principle. Most it's a bad tech. business. What about free live services? The jury's still out on that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, I love free things and I hate live services. So it's just like, mm. what? It's the best of both worlds. I guess that's why I don't play. I don't know what to feel about it. All right, much please continue. I, I, I uh, while making endless war and while uh, try like doing other like miscellaneous podcasts and stuff, I kind of realized that like I don't know, podcasts are boring. Not that I have like a vehement hatred yeah. of them or that they're like you know this, like oh I hate them like I want them to die. This or, like, sucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe uh, we'll let the viewers decide. I guess. Um, I don't know. I just don't really like personality driven content that I make because I think that I don't know I don't really like doing it anymore but it's cool if you like it um and so uh I was doing it in the swore there's and nothing I, more boring to me than my own personality I, you feel the same way yeah I do Makes I feel sense. the same way um and so I, I was doing this war I was ramping down doing all other sort of personality driven podcasts and shows like that uh, I traversed the world on a, a summer of pain, too. I went to Hippo's house, we did Game for a Day, mm -hmm. um, and I did a road trip, and, and it was nice. I, I've really been trying to focus on being, like, a human being, because, like, for all my entire life, all I would do is sit in my room, and I wouldn't leave my house at all, and, and I realized that's, like, a bad recipe for being an artist, because if you're in your room all day, then you're going to make really bad, boring art, yeah. uh, which I was making. Yeah. Uh, and so I decided to get out of the house, and instantly I felt my quality of life immediately improved just by like leaving the house and talking to my real life friends for even like a second, and it was great. And I, I that branched into going to college, and I started my first semester in college, and I'm in my second semester right now. Hashtag split break. Hashtag fuck pussy. Hashtag free Cuba. Hashtag uh, eighty million dead. Um, uh, and it's been really very interesting. I've been very happy that I went, and I have a. I feel like. 
being an actor in the world, which is something I have not been since I was a wee lad. Like, I have not, like, talked to people, you know, that I don't know IRL since I was, like, 12. And so it's a very interesting, cool experience. And I'm happy to be moving along in my real life. And I think that that will improve my art as I think it has been uh, with stuff like Lonesome Cactus and Endless War continuing to be interesting and cool. So where do I want to be in Radcon 5? I want to, I, I have ideas and I want to get into specific projects, but here's where my brain is at. I want to make new experimental art using technology. Before, uh, uh, during the, between the last two Radcon, or last Radcon, me and Tom did Killing Code, ha, huh? where is it, lol? Uh, well, I'll tell you where Killing Code is. It's in Endless War and elsewhere and in Lonesome Cactus. That's where Killing Code is. That's where all my energy and my brain power is. I became a coding god man, and I want to use coding to make weird experimental art that's not personality based. I want to make cool fiction that make people happy, and I want to live my life like a normal person, but also be a weird freak at the same time. I just want to be a person in the world doing cool shit. I don't care about making podcasts. Podcast. I don't care about YouTube, I just want to make cool art that's experimental and cool. Hell yeah, hell yeah, ah! hell yeah. You know, Woo! I don't think any of us really wants to do personality driven content. Well, then why is it what everyone does? <laughs> because it's easy to I don't consider what I do to be personality driven content. Um, wait. Oh, well, what? Kuso Mega isn't, I wouldn't Kuso Mega isn't, that. but like. Your entire thing is like there I'm is a, a YouTube trap yeah, that we are all fell into journal. for a while. See, when Digi makes a video about like I find this director interesting, these are the reasons why. Like, yeah, I guess that's his personality, personality as to why he thinks. Okay, that's, that's why, fair. But I you think know, all my videos are about things. Okay, okay. I don't think that being a, a like I don't think it's a, it's a binary where you're a personality driven show or you're not. I sure, think there are degrees. Sure. I think that sure. like I mean. Historically, at the very least, you have presented yourself as content. People, people interpret it that way. I think when you're uh, when you're starting out as an artist, a good way to market yourself is to make it personality driven, mm -hmm. and to make it seem like it's not just my art that's good. I'm also good. Look at I mean, me. I'm important. And you kind of have to go through that phase and do that. Right. But we, I think, all of us here have done that for long enough, and now we I can mean, maybe honestly, make like, something more humble. Yeah. I think injecting my personality in my content has mostly only ever hurt it. Like, yes. I think that my content would have always been way more popular if I never injected myself into it. I sometimes whole, feel similarly. Wasn't there a whole, like, idea where it's like, your videos had drifted away from how you were during, like, Modal Soul days and that big long vlog where you started doing colored shift hue value things and you're like, oh, let's get back to the real Digibro. And your entire fucking, yeah. entire brand is the Gonzo it, journalist, it's my opinion. And nobody liked it. Nobody was into that at all. I guess That so. was when I started losing all my patrons, and people were like, stop doing drugs and well, making your vlogs section. Yeah. How is the rant hole not person personality driven content that is your main source of income? The rant hole? The rant hole. I mean, like, again, they're all about things. People like, pay for you okay. because they like your personality. That is personality it's, it's not income. At personality least. isn't everything about what's in your brain. There's also just like your thoughts the and rant, the, I was going to say the rant hole, or did you, after dark, is personality based. Is it, but... Maybe that's not the main... I don't know if you consider that your main thing. I mean, After Dark is dead. It's just rants now, but, uh... Well, yeah, rants then. But, like, mm -hmm. the rants... I mean, I don't consider... The rants... Is it that they want my personality or that they want my perspective? They want both. They want like, I, I, I think of those as yeah. different. No, I don't think those are different. Well, it's I mean, your pers I, I, Okay, when I think personality-driven content, like... This is retarded. Like, all content that has anything to do with, like, your views on something just is bad. Is this the point being made? No. Oh, of course make any it's sense. not. You would have to be purposely trying to be the most stupid person on earth to think that that's what we're saying. Uh, yeah. And intentionally trying to <clears throat> mis-engender us. Well, what yeah. saying. What's the point? Then all, what's the point? Uh, all art is autobiographical inherently. Right. That's why sure. the author is objectively wrong. But it's okay to say... This project doesn't have to be about me every right. once in a while. The, the, okay, like, I, 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 I think sure. that, I, okay, so the way I would put it is like this. When I go into making a video, <laughs> the mentality is like, here's an idea, here's a thought I had. How can I express that idea in a way where the audience will best understand it the way that I understand it? Mm -hmm. And if the, like, if that thought is a natural result of my personality, it will require a lot of my personality yeah, and explaining it's... myself to get to that explanation. And I think that most people 
view that as egotistical and it's not egotistical, it's just autistic. It's just, I don't have enough frame of reference to refer to things other than myself to explain things. What? So like, I think that there's always been this idea that like, oh, D you know, Digi makes content about himself. And it's like, that's true, but it's always just kind of been because it's easy to make content. Like, it's easy to use yourself for comparison. It's easy to say, here's what I would do in that situation, you know. Um, I, I think it's, know? it's sort of like the end goal, like, by me by um, you know a, a method to get people to care about an anime is to tell a personal story or an anecdote, right? Which is what you do. So what what, what like personality driven content would be is like a vlog channel where it my life is the content. Casey Neistat, I would consider like personality driven content. Yeah. Like it's the and and it's not just his, like him himself, but like his editing style has a personality and it is the draw of the video. Mm -hmm. Like. There's nothing sure. that happens in the videos is interesting at all, almost ever. Like, it's just his daily life. It's purely his energy, his editing style. And yes, a lot of people watch me for those reasons, and I do think that, like, most of my patrons are fans of my personality, probably above <coughs> most other things. But, like, I don't consider the personality to be, like, what is driving the videos individually, and if it is, it's usually not a good thing, you uh, know? Oh, okay, we need to step way back. This is not a judgment of good versus bad. Personality does not mean bad. Well, no, but... The like, only reason I was saying that it was boring is because, like, what Ben said, I view my own personality as boring, and I, I've been well, doing exclusively. Well, I, I think most personality-driven content is boring because nobody is as interesting as concepts are. Okay. So, like, inherently, like, something like Casey Neistat's mm -hmm. videos, again, like, they have, like, an aesthetic kind of vibe. They, you know, I might resonate with him, like, as a person, but, like, there's no intellectual content. I forget those videos as quickly as mm -hmm. I've seen them. Yeah. They're yeah. just, like, fluff entertainment content that, you know, makes you feel good for the duration mm -hmm. of watching it. And, like, I think that my stuff can have that effect, and that is a good benefit of the content. But mm -hmm. what I hope my content does is get you to think about the stuff I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Like, if your main takeaway is, I love listening to Digibro's voice, it's like, well, I'm glad you had a good time, but, like, mm -hmm. that wasn't the point here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you also thought about what I was talking about. It is up to one or the other. I mean, I feel yeah. like it's it's a very clear spectrum. I, I, like, yeah. I mean, it's undeniable that, like, a lot of digiheads just like you and will yeah. follow you to the edge of the earth. Yeah, no, no. It's totally fair to say that people like me for my personality. It's just that, like... I feel a lot of the same way that you do about, like, I find myself annoying and boring. Like, mm -hmm. I don't like to listen to my own podcasts and stuff. Like, I... In fact, most of what I release these days, if it's a podcast, I do not listen to it back. Yeah. I just publish. Uh, because unless I can, like, remember that there was something that has to be edited out, I will go back and do that. But, like, yeah. you know... Uh, to me, it's just like I'm, I'm over listening to myself talk mm -hmm. endlessly about things. I just... Uh, have endless ideas, mm -hmm. and so I will provide those to the rest of you who do want to hear me, you know. You have endless ideas, we have endless wars. That's true. Ah. And I have... Endless <laughs> I am a good Thank boy. you. <laughs> <laughs> We've been going on for over an We're hour. We're fucking done with this question. Holy it's been like shit. Hey, was that one thing. question? Mm. Uh, it was one question. I mean, that was just was the topic of, of the... I, it became just the topic I of... I guess so. Yeah. 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 I guess it did. I Which mean, that I was like two years, years of cool. time. We yeah, had yeah. It was a good co uh, topic. Yes. Yeah. It, I mean, assumably, Rad, episode 100 would have happened around Radcon 3, right? Something yes, like it that. did. It was that, that was the live episode. Well, then this was a good topic, then. Yeah. yeah. Um, Thank you to whoever suggested it. Mikul yes. Man. Yeah, Mikul Man. Were there more questions? Mikul Man. There were. Most yeah. of them were kind of slight variants, and they weren't that cool, but I'll go through them again just for the sake of, of completion, and we will see. I'll grab my phone now that it's charged and look through them, too. Yeah, wow. I need my The big old time of everybody <laughs> continuing to well, talk while they're crushing. This is very no, cool. And hey, silence. Ben, rabble on about something that no one cares about. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Give me a name. No, no one said that. Okay. I'm, I'm saying you do that while I look for this. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Not necessarily that you always do that. Yeah. <laughs> but please, for once, find it in you find, to, find to be boring. Um, uh, I can't. I can't do it. Nowhere inside <laughs> oh, God, is anything cool. that's not just astonishing. <laughs> um, 
Bernie's only 150 delegates. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah oh, Bernie Sanders, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> um. So how about that coronavirus? Oh God! Oh man, I'm die. I'm dude, I definitely have it. Dude, they definitely might cancel have WrestleMania. Have I'm hearing. Oh no! They canceled the NBA. Oh my God! They, it, how am I gonna find out what happens uh, to AJ Styles calling the Undertaker a cuck? It's a great question. Uh, most of these questions are like variations of what we were just discussing. Like, there's one where it's like, um, there's like, how much has the PCP changed since the last Redcon? Like, where was same question. Yeah, yeah. Same is question. there like a live chat going on with like? No, there, there's a again. If you donated a certain amount to the Kickstarter for Redcon Four, you're able to become a PTA member, and there's a secret, a secret Discord for those PTA members where they can tell us things to do at Radcon 4, and this is one of the things that they can tell us to do. They can ask us questions, and so that's what is happening Wait. right now. <sighs> Is this a live stream or a pre-recorded thing? A live stream. That's what I thought. Yeah. So yeah. there, I assume there is a there chat, would be a chat. But we're not yeah. looking at it. Because oh. those people didn't buy their way. Well, what if someone super chats? I, I'll we'll check later. We, 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 we don't need to extend oh, okay. this more than, than God intended. If there's no <laughs> questions. I mean, feel free to super chat, but we won't read it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Destroy. I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe we want to. Exit maybe. What the, well, there's what are your daily morning routines? I saw that one. I didn't know if that would be interesting or not. Mm. Does and anybody up. have a morning routine? He, he, here's what my morning routine is. I it, oh hey by the way this is the thing that started since last night con which has like a couple posts. Um, my M- Munchu scripts Tumblr check that out for contents about what I'm gonna say. I've gone way into like basically using machines to rule my life for me because I can't be trusted to make a decision on my own. So here's what I have. Here's my morning routine. I get up. My alarm is going off and I set it up. So I made a thing where my phone will only stop doing the alarm when I scan a QR code that is inside of my shower. So I have to go to my shower to scan a QR code so that my alarm will turn off. And then once I'm there, I'm like I have my clothes already set the, set up there from the night before. So I literally just get into the shower, so I don't have like you know a decision making process like oh do I want to get up right now? Do I just want to hit snooze? No, I'm already in the shower. I already have my clothes near me. I might as well get naked and shower. Hell I might yeah. as well. Uh, so that's my morning routine. Then I get up. Sometimes I get breakfast, but I usually don't because breakfast is fucking stupid. And then I just start working or go to school, and that's my morning routine. What app does that? There is an app called. Um, it is Alarmy for Android. Cool. And you can set it so it will scan a barcode or a QR code, and then I made a QR code that says wake up. And I have begun to it settle up. into more of a general routine for my days in life. That's good. As opposed to like the the dark times where my life was just a, an endless fog of, of, of gray matter. Read Munchie Strips. You'll, you'll vibe with um, it, Jesse. You'll re- vibe hard. Wait, where do you wait, find Munchie Strips? Mun- Munchu scripts. You've seen it before. You've read it before. It's my Tumblr. Oh, Munchu scripts. Yeah. I've gotten into a routine of like, I wake up, I fucking, you know, brush my ass and shit my teeth or whatever the fuck, mm-hmm. and I fucking I fuck around. And I go to the gym for a couple hours, uh, and then I come home, and then I usually just fucking chill. And I do that for, like, the first 20 days of the month, about. And then I remember that I have to create content to get paid. And so then I, like, cram on the last fucking day of the month. Like, oh, my God, I got to do something on Patreon. Oh, my God, oh, my God, what have I done? Mm-hmm. Uh, and so it's and then, like, I have, like, a my day off from the gym where I, instead of going there, I go on a silly adventure to, like, the woods or, like, a comedy club or something or some city. <laughs> And uh, and then also I travel a lot all across the country because my fucking girlfriend lives on the other side of the country and it's fucking terrible. And yeah, we're des- desperately, uh, both of us, trying to save money to get a place together. But it's also hard because okay. seeing each other costs money. So every time that we see each other, it bleeds from the funds of saving up to see each other permanently. So How can we help you to save money? Patreon.com slash Endless Jazz. What will we find on there? Hilarious, Hilarious written, text written text posts. Yes, I ha- Yes, everyone constantly has to be promoting the Endless Jazz text posts on if, Patreon. If you are somebody who is capable of reading, yes. you should become an Endless Jazz They person. have become my if pride you're, and if joy. You're, if you're they like are most the, people and you can't read, you might not get the same The benefits, text posts but. are among my best accomplishments as a person who makes things. I, am a, I love they them. They are good, and they're only available on Patreon. <laughs> 
And if you pledge and see them, you'll be helping me eventually have a really good life, hopefully. I'll tell you my morning routine, because uh, it used to be that I just jumped out of bed immediately, went straight to the computer, and just mm-hmm. went about my day. Uh, but now that I, you know, have a wife and usually wake up in, at the same time, it's more mm-hmm. like we... Mm-hmm battle over whether we're going to get out of bed or not for about 45 minutes and then finally do and most of that time is me in the back of my mind thinking okay on the one hand i really want to get up and smoke weed immediately but on the other hand this bed is very comfy and i have the and i have the warm love of my wife so i'm going to stay here as long as i can but the second i get up i'm going straight to the bomb Mm -hmm. So the second I get up, I go straight to the bong. Uh. And uh, usually, though, actually, I'm, I'm exaggerating because usually what we do is anything that needs to get done for the day, I try to get it done, like, the second we wake up so that I can start smoking. So, like, mm-hmm. it's, it, it's usually like, oh, uh, like, we'll, we'll wake up and I'll be like, what do you need to do today? And it's like, we got to get groceries, we got to go here, and then we just do that, like, right away, get food while we're out come home, I smoke, and then eat, you know. Um, and then I spend usually the afternoons just chilling, smoking, and watching shit. And then at night, I just work constantly. And uh, and sometimes the work doesn't end. For you know, that sounds like a pretty good routine, honestly. That for so long, good. I got into this rut of just, like, timeless nothing, where because I had no structure to my days... And it was just like a meandering, like, I gotta piss and shit now, I gotta eat now, I got a computer set on my desk now. Where, like, the months would just go by and bleed into each other, and I wouldn't know what's happening. Hippo, and, it's, um, it's sounding like you are gonna have to be under quarantine for two weeks when you get back home. Huh. Aww. So What, like, self-quarantine? I don't know. I don't wanna be in a box. Wait. That sucks. What, what is this? Is this a is it a Europe <coughs> thing or is it a UK thing? I don't know. May just messaged me and said Hippo might end up in quarantine for two weeks when he goes back. Uh, hey Jesse, oh, it, it we're on a, a podcast. I don't know if you forgot because these people just said things randomly, but you can continue what you were saying oh, on this piece right, of art right. people are supposed to consume. It's right, really right. Good for them to watch. Well, I guess my point is that like once I did get out of that situation and the whole like furnace room basement era, which was not good. And I know that it was a meme that it was not good. Make but Jesse sad again, guys. He was way better when his life was worse. I mean, like, I know that, it, like, I, I made it a meme was that it was his life not good. Ever worse? I guess so. That's true. Like, you know, I, I made it into a joke and a meme to cope with it, but that does not really express exactly how terrible it really was. However bad I made it out to be, it was worse. It was much worse for a very long time. But, like,. Uh, I th- like, and because of that, I was kind of like stifled uh, as a human, like not being able to like figure out like what I even wa- wanted. Like I couldn't see a light at the end of the tunnel, and like as soon as like that changed and I got out of it, and like I'm not saying that everything's great, but like there is a light now, and like I have a I have goals, and like I I, I have things I know I can do to reach those goals, and like. Uh, as soon as I was out of there, I was able to, like, figure out who the fuck I am now. Because, like, when it started, I was, like, 22, and then I became, like, a gormless mass of depression for eight years uh, with no personality beyond that. And uh, so so now I'm, like, figuring out... And, like, I had two epiphanies that have, like, almost completely changed my entire mindset. I realized... For the first time, one, that I have always been a hippie, and two, that I have always been a fucking cowboy, white trash hick. And now that I finally... Cowboy, baby! Yes, and now that I understand, like, I finally realize, like, all my... Everything that I feel, all these, like, emotions and uh, philosophies that I've... Internally that I cannot articulate or express, I finally realized, oh, wait, it's because I'm literally a fucking hippie the like the formative years of my life were spent on a hippie commune. That's why I am the way I am. And then, uh, and then I also realized. And then before that, I grew up in a fucking trailer park, and I have I've got the hick in me. 
And like, I just need to embrace that. So I started, I started like, I really buying all these like crazy horse albums, just like just injecting Neil Young into my bloodstream. And I, just, dude, I know what you're talking about because when I moved down here, it just so happened that the song, that like the new big song was that. I bought a sawed off shotgun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they sent the tax man, and I was like, I haven't paid my taxes. They took my car, and yeah. I got hooked on oxycodone. And yes, I was like, hey, I yes. do drugs. They shut the lights off. Hey, I don't pay my bills. They bought a sawed off. I want to kill myself yeah. too. So, so I now, feel exactly at home. So now here. that I finally understand <laughs> about myself that I've always been a hippie cowboy, I can finally like base my goals and decisions and the. Like the way I live my life around that, and it's been a vast improvement because now I realize I I do want to wear uh, flannel and cowboy boots all the time. I do just want to drive around and like adventure all over America and like see different cities and like have Memphis barbecue and fucking you know. And I do just want to fucking do drugs all the time and hang out in my bed and be fucking cool and shit. And now that I figure that out, it's like hell yeah, bro. <laughs> Vibin. Epic. Hey, here's a question. Who, uh, this is by Proxy It 10 who was the hottest member of the PCP in the Beach OVA? Well, you'll find out when it releases, won't they? I mean, are we going to speculate? Are we going to, like, say Me, because I was in a hot car I'll driving just, here. We don't I'm have just saying that there were two people, that. there were two people whose ass were out. And, uh, <laughs> out and about. That's those true. will probably be the ones that your eyes get drawn to. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. For the record, it's me. And hippo. <laughs> it was me because my makeup was on fleek. It was, he was you're, well, you're, okay. clutch. I was talking about the ass. The visible ass. Right. No, from did, these he, two. did he say the ass? Well, he, that was his point. Well, he said who was the hottest, and I said it's that he because was, of the amount of ass. Yeah. Ben, you looked awesome in makeup. You ass. should wear it like just all the time. I should. Yeah. I really should. Yeah. Finally. Epic. Finally, mm -hmm. I cracked the code. Mm -hmm. You'll get uh, all the views. Now. You what can is, just paint a better is, face on your real face. What is and each then you're of your hot. preferred methods of wiping your ass when no toilet paper is available? I fucking hate wiping my ass. The it is fuck? the fucking worst part of my day every day Dude, of my have, entire have life. You, have you thought about investing in a? He knows. <laughs> No. Have, have either of you thought I about think about it on? every goddamn day of my life on this earth. I pray to the gods, <laughs> please somewhere get me to a place in life where I can where I can afford to install a bidet in my fucking toilet. Dude, I had a bidet. I hated it. How could you hate such a wonderful Dude, thing? <laughs> I mean, I tried it once and it felt horrible, and I was like, never again. Dick what man, feels horrible than like it's like it's just like fucking like scratching paper onto your butthole? Yeah, yeah. No, that feels fine. Oh, I, I well, I, well, I wet the toilet paper, I so it's there gentle. Was, there was a, mm. Wait, how do you wet it? The sink. Sink. Ben, do you do that before? What? Ball it up, run it under so... the faucet for a second. This is the most passionate oh. I've ever been on the PCP podcast. I hate wiping my ass. I fucking hate it more than anything in life. I've never heard of that before. But I, so you do it before you shit, and then you no, like no, I no, I shit, and then I ball up some toilet paper, and then I run it under the faucet. Do you faucet, get, just get it a little from wet? The toilet? Yeah, you can't. If like I have to. How far away Whoa. is the sink from the fucking toilet? In this most place? bathrooms are not that big. Yeah, you most of the time. cannot get up after shitting. You have to wipe and then get up. You no, cannot get up. That's no, that's no. Wait, 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 why not? Why? When you get up after you're shitting, walking and waddling around, and it's just spreading your shit. Yeah, no, it's spraying shit. You can do it You can all the do it in a way that like your cheeks don't move and yeah. you don't get shit yeah, all over your ass. That's you were what like you squat and hop. Yeah, that's terrible. Well, I mean, though. just like a little, just like, like, like a like, bird. Yeah. Just like kind of like to the sink. Ben, for, like in my bathroom, all we're I have here, to do is just kind of twist to the side a little bit and I get four thousand dollars. All I have to all I have to do from the toilet is like twist a little to the side and I can get it wet and it's fine. That's fucking disgusting. You're fucking disgusting. You don't even fucking wet your toilet paper when you fucking wet. Why would I need to? I can sharpen it all. I'll tell you. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on, uh, there was somebody who called into the Dick Show one time because Dick swears by the bidet, and this man said, "If you got shit on any other part of your body, would you only use a dry implement to wash it off?" This and is I was true. Like, I thought about this fucking point. One of the shit, the shit now. I gotta step in. Oh, okay. The one okay. I have a story because I used a bidet in Japan. If you want to hear the bidet story, sure. Uh, sure. Yeah, it was a fucking yeah. nightmare. Second yeah. of all, let's get fucking wet wipes. 
Well, yeah, that's sure. if, basically. Uh, Use but, wet wipes. Well, look at this <laughs> galaxy brain over here. <laughs> Wait, hold on. He's not galaxy brain because I have a problem with wiping my ass. And it might just be because I'm unhealthy and fat. But Jesus this Christ. motion... Causes my rib, oh this my area. God. You are fat. In a, sear with pain. Oh we'll do the, the Ethan like, Klein. Go under the front. Okay, well, that's a serious oh, medical no. wait, oh, hold on. Wait, under wait, wait, your wait. balls? You get your balls all sweaty on? This that's, is terrible. That's not my you argument. This is but like hold terrible. terrible. Into the taint. And you go, you, you wet lift wipes or not, up and you do Are you side. not wiping your ass because you're in pain? No, I am wiping my ass. I'm just fucking suffering. That's why I'm saying wiping your ass sucks. Okay, this question it is was, terrible. What's your preferred method of wiping your ass when there's no toilet paper? I don't understand the question. If you don't have toilet paper, how do you wipe your ass? There's only one way. There's only one way. There there are, there way. Several this is what you ways. do. You stick your ass over the sink and you just wash it okay. with water uh, and just wash fuck? that shit. No, no, of course I've done that before. That's a no. no. You have to no. Okay, you look, have to I'm learning things I never wanted to learn. Why the sink and not the shower? I mean, if you don't have toilet paper, I guess my first emergency method would be like, I well, maybe I'll just like... Find a paper towel, and then I'll just I mean, marry more. I, I, I will tell you that I have both had to use the paper so towel. Like, I've had to use the just jump in the shower. Yeah, just, just jump in the shower. Paper. Yeah, uh, that's, but that's, that's in, the way. In, uh, in Vietnam, they use leaves. There you go. Where do you get leaves when you're in your bathroom? I mean, we'll get shit out, <laughs> they shit what? out in the woods. And, uh, this is a topical well, what good question that to mean? ask because toilet paper is sold out everywhere in the woods, America's man. retarded. And you know this yeah, question was from Chancey Party. I'm sure that's why. Yeah, That's why I always keep leaves in my purse. <laughs> toilet paper. Uh, unironically, isn't that why one of the reasons Japanese people carry around those tissues? Because like in a lot of no, Asian countries, no. those are the only toilet paper. The fuck? Like, That's a terrible kind like, of in, toilet in the, paper. In the Philippines, you there is, public bathrooms almost never have toilet paper. Aren't there paper, like so some like bizarre. weird like limitations of like certain places in Asia where you can only use like X amount of squares of toilet paper and then you're fucked Probably. and then you're on your own after well, that? The, but the actual answer to this was like, okay, you either find toilet paper or you do what you got to do without toilet paper. And in some situations, yeah, what is, that's just, just going to get fucked. Right. What if I, you I uh, jump in the shower? Just myself, but I have. You're in a public restroom. About the idea of just using my hands and then washing my hands afterwards. Unironically, yeah. Yeah, you I mean, gotta do it. You gotta hands, do it. Your hands are. You're washing them anyway. You, yeah, you have, you have the tools it's available. It's literally to wash easier to wash your hands than your butt. We it should is. all be wiping with our hands. Yeah. I mean, kind of. Yeah. That is the sort way. I just don't. Yeah. I don't, no, I don't get, sign off on I don't this. think you get your butt very wait, clean with your hands. Never you shake hands again. To, it just becomes a cultural norm. It's through all the motions, though. It's yeah, yeah. Yes. I, yeah. No, but you can yeah. Much easier. Yeah. Right. I guess. Okay. Okay. Never mind. I mean, it might it's just more work when you think of it. But all you'd be doing is smearing shit with your hands. No, not true. Because I mean, you can. God, get yourself... there's just no good solution to the problem of shit. Yeah, that's And there never will be. It drives me bonkers. I unironically had the thought that like toilet paper is a sign that we are still barely out of the fucking cave. Yes, that's that's true. Absolutely. Absolutely. we haven't that's even gotten to the three seashells yet. Yeah, one day, <laughs> one day, when we become uh, elevated. Uh, hey, here's a totally separate question. Uh, I, we might have mentioned this before, but I, it's just a good one on an occasion such as this. Is is it full of Oh wait, wait, wait! Sucks. Before you do that, okay, I want to okay. address this. Sure. Because uh, son of Marowak said to talk about the failure of the poll yesterday, and he was mad all day because. Okay, oh, um, when we, we played Super Smash Bros. last night, right. because at the moment that Nate checked the poll, yeah. Super Smash Bros. was ahead by one point. It was. It by was. the time we started streaming, this was no longer the case. Scott Pilgrim was winning. And there had to be a cutoff point. A lot. I'm sorry we but didn't it, announce the it cutoff. It was just that moment when Nate looked at his phone that we that he said, oh, Smash is ahead by one yeah, point. Yeah. That's what we're playing. So to you, it seems like a cruel deception, but in mm. reality, it was just bureaucratic delays caused uh, caused this incident uh, but perhaps we'll make it right in the future we'll see uh, okay it is if full riffa just asks what video should I introduce should I oh, use yeah. to introduce you to new people as the PCP hmm. any oh, suggestions did he, did he mean specifically the PCP or Cooper like each of cock. us individually well, well. Specifically <laughs> the PCP afterwards. sure Nate who what uh, I mean just it's gotta be that you're throwing Gurren Log, Gur 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 Log yeah, in part one and part two yeah. yeah that'll do uh, or like I would say for your videos, if you're into Smash, watch any of the Smash videos. Those are also good. It depends um, what they want to see, and yeah, like, what they're into. My like favorite best guy ever video is Uncovered Final Fantasy XV and Night right. in Hell. Yeah, yeah, that's um, right. An Evening in Hell. An Evening in Hell. Uh, that one is probably incomprehensible if you don't know what the fuck was going on, yeah, uh, which yeah. nobody did, so the video is incomprehensible to basically everybody but me and you yeah, who happened yeah. to witness this weird Final <laughs> Fantasy event. Um, 
But uh, also, I, I have a BGE Essentials playlist for yeah. a reason. That's what uh, I, I choose to be all the best contents in there. So link in that playlist. Uh, but also, like, what what would be the best for getting into the PCP though? Just like episode, episode one, one of the podcast. I, I mean, there's probably better episodes. Uh, I mean, things we can't get into is the one that people, I think, most people. Uh, see your yeah. thing last night was unironically, you like kind of the brony, fulfilled that function. Brony uh, lecture. At, yeah. oh, the lecture. At yeah. least yeah. in terms of well, like that's finally like the, being explained, being able to explain some part of this madness that is my life yeah, in a I, way that makes sense to me. I did like that about it. Okay, but... But that's, that's pre-PCP that, that history. I mean, does it need to die? The first episode was me yeah. on it? Yeah. Oh, that, that one's good, too. Uh, things I can't get into the episode. There's your easy answer. Uh, boom. Uh, there's a helicopter. There's a big, loud noise. Okay, but I know a loud man. Munchie. Yes. What should people get into for you? I... Okay, it's, it, it, it's got no that you can't get. You have to, to to be an endless war player. You basically have to know who me and Ben are already. Mm. Um, I would say either first episode of Armor Retrieval and then follow that through and, and read Homestuck with us. Mm -hmm. The Deal Nation lecture obviously is a mm -hmm. classic. Mm -hmm. um, and then if not that, then the Spice of Bro Pact or Stealing Your Dad, the first um, uh, live episode. Okay, any, any of those? Um, I guess get the you. spread. For me, yeah. uh, go to giveandtake.site, read Bail Jape, mm. and then that's it. Okay, Bail so <laughs> Read Bail Jape and Lord of Ghost comic mm. and become a fan of that. And that's, I mean, I don't really know like what, like what where I should try to send people. Cause, like, Getting onto the website's a good first step. Yeah, they like, can th click that's, out that's they where like. I'm doing stuff. Yeah. Everything else is like historical artifacts and the, if you want to dig up them up and look at them, they're mm. all there for you. Um, that's a good answer. Yeah. You can take that six, got a website. Digi, what should they watch for you? Uh, luckily, um, like I have been trying to make my content like more accessible as time goes on. Mm -hmm. So I would say my most recent stuff um, the most underrated anime of all time would probably be a good video for good video. my anime content. Um, if you want to see, you know, read my fiction, Kus Omega, book one. And if you want to listen to my music, Old School Underground Mixtape, which is where I took a bunch of my best verses from all my other albums and made like a very accessible version of them. Mm -hmm. So like that album is pretty much just designed to be like your intro to Digibro music kind of uh, experience. But, I always uh, really like the art is all about pushing your buttons. I return to that one. It's a, a good one. Art is all about pushing your buttons. Is the first thing in the uh, essential Digibro playlist, or yeah. yeah, is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which Digibro. the essential Digibro playlist is not a collection of my best videos, but just the ones that I I think if you watch Found these, Found ideology, will, right? Like because so much of the way I talk about shows is different from other critics, and it confuses a lot of people. And so it's like if you watch these videos, you'll understand where I'm coming from. And like art is all about pushing your buttons is the first one in there because it's just to explain like look. I'm not always going to talk about every element of every show. I'm going to talk about the interesting elements of mm -hmm. every show that pushed my button, like what stood out to me, because that's what makes the experience yeah. meaningful to mm -hmm. me. You know, so. Also, and we have accepted mediocrity. Also, an excellent video. That is a good one as well. That's really good. Tom, where should they go for you? Um, just go to my Twitter, mm. I guess. I mean, that's where I'm just living it's right so now. At Tommy so Oliver sad. says on Twitter. At Tommy Oliver says on Twitter, you can play the. You, you need to, Tom. You you gotta get your fucking website Dude, up so you can start telling it's people. About it's the halfway website. done. Okay, okay. I was working on it before. I, I obviously, you can't have made any progress on it while at Radcon. No. Right, but it's just right. driving me crazy because I go to your Twitter and it is a useless way to like get into you because you tweet <laughs> well, way more than just your own art. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I have I have also made an Izumi Twitter, but I haven't done anything with it. It's like I get it, Tom. You support Gamergate. I don't need to repeat it ten times. Okay? <laughs> Hashtag not your shield. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the fight continues. It's not over yet. Dude, the endless war Twitter and the Izumi Twitter should like. ERP. Yeah. In Munchie, public. Have you seen what I've been doing with the endless war Twitter? Yeah. Lately? No. Of course. It's, Do it's you just, like it's, it? It's just like. Keywords endless war slime. I just, retweet. I just I just search the word slime. Yeah, and I yeah, just yeah. find like funny slime yeah, posts exactly. on Twitter and just retweet all of them. <laughs> so so Ben, how about you? Where's the funny uh, shit? I I mean I guess I would say my comics at saintcomics.com. Mm -hmm. If it was a video, I guess I would say, uh, depending on which way the wind blows for you, either the Sonichu lecture or yeah. the, 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 the Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke that's, one. Yeah. 
Yeah, the Nuzlocke's probably starting with genis Remember them? Genocide. Who's Robson? Uh, I'll probably do another one at some point. Cool, cool. cool. Uh, I don't know when, but like... Oh, I was thinking of doing one with Temtem. Yeah. I was thinking of Nuzlocking Temtem. I don't know. But it's like That's in cool. it's like in like beta pre release right now. Yeah. So I probably wouldn't do it until it sees full release. Do you and want you, anyone to get into you at all? Do you want that? Patreon.com slash endless jess, of course, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean Patreon's where everybody or, should go. Yeah. Just give us money. We promise. Oh, yeah. Patreon.com slash give and take. Ben Saint. Yeah, so the best guy ever. Two, I got fifty Just bonus go. podcasts. Patreon.com in general. Everyone They're you all know what Patreon is. Yeah. I, I we literally broke. all have Patreon. Everyone knows. Everyone. Yes, I don't. Yes. He's got an OnlyFans, though. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. No I will after this uh, ride con. All right. Uh, Send me that link yeah. as soon as it's yeah. live. He wanted to do AshleyMadison.com yeah. slash MunchyJTrain. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I want to tell my dad about this. Don't worry. <laughs> Check out my Seeking Arrangements page. <laughs> Looking for a yeah, baby daddy type situation. <laughs> I'm yeah. the baby. <laughs> no. Um, well, I mean, we pretty much got through all the. Wait, the I didn't answer. Questions, but, I think. Okay today. What? We didn't answer. But they're considering it. I think we're pretty much done. I mean, well, we could go on. Are you done? Or not just you speak? Eh. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. My the best video to get into my stuff. Yeah. yeah. I peaked very early mm. with a video called Reapers. Uh, Ravens. Mm. Ravens. Oh, if man. you are into Mass Effect, then yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll tell, I'll, look, I'll like tell you how to get into. I don't know anything about Mass Effect. How you get into Jesse is you watch the Fox series. Those are the most easy, accessible videos. Yeah, I guess. Um, watch fuck class. And they're all hilarious. The, the way I got into Jesse was fuck cars, and I need you to understand how young I am and how old you are. When you made that video, I watch it, and then I show it to all my friends at the library in sixth grade. You know, I <laughs> the yeah. funny thing about that video is when I watch it back. It's like so obvious to me that I, first that I was just starting out and like yeah. trying to figure out what my voice was, sure. and second that I had just started listening to a lot of Bill Burr. Yes, yeah. because yeah. that is I'm I'm just talking like yeah. Bill Burr in that right. video. You yeah, that it's very noticeable about your early content that you are like a Bill Burr AVGN. Yeah, like <laughs> the Bill, that's me, the yeah. Bill Burr AVGN. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna be something, it's not a bad thing to be. Uh, other than that, uh, actually, you know what? Yeah. One video, the one video to get into Endless Chess, I would pick Sound Criminals. Yeah, Sound Criminals mm. and f everyone loves unanimously. Like the one video I've made that everyone unanimously enjoys is the Autumn video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People like really, people blow smoke up my ass about that Autumn video all the time. And so, cool. I guess that must be the one. I don't like. Honestly, like, uh, everyone, it seems like a lot of time people talk about me, they're like, oh, Endless Jess, uh, 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 Hoshu Finale, uh, 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 meta stuff, uh, standing in front of a bookcase, angry yelling at the cameraman, mm -hmm. it's like... Dude, the, like when he grew the neck beard, like... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. When, he, when he grew the neck beard, he really came into his own. Yeah. <laughs> all that, but like, this, I guess this is how I've evolved, like, I hate all of that shit, I'm embarrassed of all of it. Uh, none of it matters to me. The Crystal Empire video is still an old well, favorite of well, mine. The, the Colt Corona the Colt Corona. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, well, yeah. he's... Colt Corona is gold. Yeah, I will okay, never... Right. I will never not love Colt Corona. He's good, one good. of the best things that ever came out of me. <laughs> the image he of is my son, and I love him, him forever. Him crawling out of that little baby castle yeah. has stuck with <laughs> yeah. me so powerfully to this day. Everything <laughs> involving Colt Corona is gold, and will always be. It's true. I think, like, my... But my favorite videos of mine... Um... I think it's possible I've never seen this Reasons I Love Autumn video. You've never seen I saw it. it. I, remember. I don't remember it. The, um, like, there were gross vaginas. Oh, yeah, I have yeah, a yeah. like on it, so clearly yeah, I, I did yeah. watch it. That'd be a, I also really like <laughs> the oh, Arnold's Thanksgiving one that I did, but I don't think anyone fucking gave a shit about that video. But no, I remember it. I, um, I, I, I mean, I do remember that one, but I also remember the Best Christmas Episodes one, which also has a Hey Arnold mm. right, right. holiday analysis, which is also a great video. I just, as as my tone evolved, like, to the less, like, trying to be, like, hostile and cool and, like, ego guy, to the more, like, laid-back stuff like the Arnold, like, I, that's the tone that I like the most. And the videos of mine that I like to watch back the most um, are, like, the Nada Reviews. Yeah, those are all good because yep. they're like those are like the the fucking not a review on Witch in the Hundred Night yeah, is the great. only place great. where my opinions on Nipponichi have been expressed yeah. on the internet. Well, those are like the most pure because like 
Those are like deliberately the least ego driven videos. Mm. Yeah. That was like kind of the point of them. And that's kind of why they're called not a reviews. Because like I'm saying in the title, you don't have to take this seriously. This is not. And so like, right. and saying that up front frees me to just goof off and say whatever dumb shit I want. And not have to act like it's important. Not a review is such a good title because you immediately like give yourself Disarm. a free pass, but you also get the search result of X exactly. review. I, I most of those videos are good and I like them. And everything else I've ever done is a uh, shameful mm. disgrace. But so for enough, what you just said, are you saying that we've exited the hostile and cool phase of Vigilance Chess and entered the warm and gay phase? Of warm Vigilance and gay. Warm and gay. Warm and gay. Warm and gay! Is that a reference? No. no. It's just, no. It's just, no. It's just, it's just, right just good. It's just purely yeah, it's organic, just man. I, I think we have one last question to exit on here, guys. What's that? It's how much, capitalized, do you guys love each other? Question mark, question mark, question mark. A lot! A hey, lot. hey, everypony! Uh, welcome to the fucking Suck Dick Show! No one even <laughs> fucking slightly cared about anything that just happened the past 30 seconds. <laughs> End it now. Uh, it's, no, it's, it's good. Uh, Guys, it's, I slept like three and a half hours last night. My warm and fuzziness is at an all-time low. I cannot stand a single one of well, you. Well, let's just address oh, God. The, the reason we do RadCon is we thank don't God. have meetups that we could go to anymore because we all like being around each other and just we all say it and then it just comes true. True that when we are together, it's just a way good time, and it's just always nice to uh, to hang out. So, so I'm real happy for it. So, somebody suggested Jaina said, uh, "Hey, why don't you guys all sing a song together?" Oh, I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to be working right now, but I'm not working. I'm doing nothing. Myself, I'm jerking. Myself, I'm sucking. I am an asshole. I am a stupid. I got a deadline. Don't wanna do it. Mm. Yeah. I am. What the hell is wrong with you? Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Ooh, ooh. See you later. See another 200 episodes. Fast. Here's, here's, Stop. To, here's okay. to another.